<laughs> never do that. I would never do that. I would. I would. All right, we good? I'm ready if you're ready. Should I should I lead with like we're two strong, drunk motherfucking sons of a bitch? I can play the rest the rest of it into our headphones for like thirty seconds, and then record. Yeah. He knows what he's doing. Damn. Damn. This is fucking awful. Are we live? No, I haven't pressed record yet. Press record. We'll just talk through it. Uh, There you go. Because I can always fade it later and edit this. But. Sons of a bitch! Yep. Josh Brown. Chaos, we have officially made it. We have our own country song. Yep. We've been talking about it for how long? A month, two, Every episode. Yeah, ten episodes. it's finally on, baby. Ten. Episode ten, and we're uh, we're famous. We are live. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Carrots Car- corner. Carrots corner. I forgot where I was at. We're back home. Finally, back home. We have two guests right now. We got a guy wearing goggles. <laughs> My father, Pappy, aka Parkside three eight five, which is the greatest Instagram handle of all time. It is just his address backwards. <laughs> That's all I said. Now, how, how long did it take you to think of that, Pappy? It took me a few months. <laughs> but I did come up with it. So, if anyone wants to know where Pappy lives, it's his Instagram handle. They don't know the city, though. That's the, that's the trick I have. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's Sycamore, Illinois. <laughs> hey, come on, you <laughs> son of a... <laughs> oh, shit. Are we live? Yeah. We're oh, you are recording. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we are live. And my wife is also sitting in because... We had a hell of a time last night, and she's got to tell the stories because I don't remember any of them. Yeah, I've got stories to tell. Yeah. I do remember a certain story. Well, we'll save that for later. <laughs> okay. But, uh, uh, we're brought to you by Pioneer Fit, uh, generalleathercraft.com. Matt at Pioneer Fit supports us, so please support him. Uh, makes all of our belts, hip circles. Cock rings. Uh, leather wallets. Fucking love his wallets. Make like any kind of skin you want to use. Alligator skin, whatever. Fucking bet. You got an alligator skin one, right? Yeah, yeah. alligator skin belt and wallet. Yeah. I got yeah. my brother's a leather wallets. They're pretty nice. Yeah, it's the Good only wallet I've used for the last three years. Same one. Yeah. Uh, we're also, this episode's brought to you also by Manscaped. Manscaped? Yep. Manscaped and the lawnmower. Oh, three shit. Oh. You shave your nuts with that. I've been shaving my nuts with it for three, four months now. Yeah. No nicks. What do you think about it, Karen? Karen about how his nuts look? Yeah. Oh, no, mine. Not his. <laughs> I'm also sponsored by Manscaped, and now the podcast is. We're big believers in grooming your dick. Yeah. And balls. Well, Fairy, I appreciate whatever. that when I'm there. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. Yeah, nothing's worse than cutting something in your nuts, because... That cut my nuts. That, cut don't, that, don't, that bleed don't stop. No, they bleed that's a lot. That's literally the cut that never heals. The more you rub it, the better oh, it feels. No, no, no. no I know what the cut that never heals is. Yeah, how's it go, Pappy? Here's the cut that never heals. The more you rub it, the better it feels. Ain't no soap this side of hell. Ever get rid of that fishy smell. Yes, cheers. Cheers, cheers. to that. You can use that cheers at your next family dinner. Yep. Yeah, that's why we, uh, you know, we have so many kids. Because our wives loved our <laughs> groomed penis and balls. Oh, you it think helps. that? Yeah, that's true, I guess. It helps. Um, you don't want to go on a date. You know, if we were like you, anybody single listen to this? And no, you don't want everybody laughing. Yeah, you drop your pants and you got fucking Chewbacca. Yeah, like like Pappy's uh, beard. Yeah, you don't want that. Knock it off. That's getting pretty personal. This is 2020, you know? You gotta shave that shit. (laughs) Hey, come on, Tom. I'm serious. This? No, no, no. no. Your balls, man. Oh, my God. You know what? I'm gonna get Celia to send you a 3.0, all right? I'd love it. Yeah, Pappy. Thank you. Set Pappy up a 3.0. I would love it. And you can uh, you can start getting those dick pics out there. I'd love it. Yeah, somebody's been. <laughs> I'm sure somebody else would too. Yeah, well, <laughs> somebody kept messaging me saying that you were sending them dick pics, some female on on their pappy. That's that false. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie, dude. I got on Snapchat the other day. This one guy, he Snapchat me like his face smiling. And I'm like, well, that's weird. Twenty minutes later, he's like, uncomfortable like amount of pubes, <laughs> like just his upper body and his pubes. I'm like, what the fuck? This guy doesn't even manscape. Don't even talk to me. What? That's what I said. I said, if you don't manscape, don't even talk to oh me. Oh, my God. You're willing really to look ever. at penises that are manscaped. No, 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 no. That's no, kind no. of how that sounds. But no, but I'm getting to the point now, like, where you are. Like, where guys will send you shit, and you're like, wait, what are you doing? Yeah. Why are you sending me this? What is... That's a good point to get to. 
I guess. Yeah, I remember when I got to that point, I was very, I was very impressed. So I'm, I'm climbing slowly. Yeah, you know, if you're getting, yeah, yeah. you get picks fixed. and stuff, you're, you're, you're definitely climbing the ladder oh, okay. to superstardom. Good. Is yeah. Tank getting any? Tank has not gotten one dick pick yet. Okay. He sends a lot out. There. He <laughs> sends <laughs> numerous out. It's not for lack of trying. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's somebody said they were playing a game about how many times we talk about Tank and uh, Jen's feet in the podcast. So you got to oh. drink every time you say it. You can, these guys are gonna get drunk. They're gonna get drunk as fuck. Yeah. yeah. Good time. It's one of my favorite topics. So what? Hold on. We were sponsored by Manscaped. Did you ever even... Oh yeah, the code. You gotta give him the code, you idiot. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. The code is stupid. All caps. S T U P I D. Pretty simple to remember. That's a good code. So if you hear it on the podcast and want to try it, um, use that code. Helps us out. Mm-hmm. Pappy, how do you spell it? S T U P I D. Perfect. Perfect. Use code stupid. <laughs> yep. At checkout, you're twenty percent off and two free gifts. Oh, God, I'm hungover as shit. What happened to you last night? <sighs> well... You want to see Travis Tritt? Not Travis Tritt. Oh, I saw him once. But uh, <laughs> we saw <laughs> Cody good. Jinx. Cody Jinx. And we got drunk as fuck. Who's like, we? me and my wife, Karen, and C.B. Dalloway and C.B. Dalloway's dad. Oh, really? They uh, showed us a good time. Holy hell. Um, yeah, I don't remember any of the rest of the night. Not to be proud of, son. Uh... I guess somebody vomited out back on the deck. Oh boy! I'm, I thought it was Karen, but Karen's blaming me on it. I'm eating, I'm eating a pickle right now. <laughs> Karen made me bloody mary. I never had one before. Um, yeah, Tom. What are you? Thirty-seven years old? You're puking on your deck? Yes. Yeah, so you know, grow up. I'm not. Pro- I'm not proud of it, pal. Jesus I get up Christ. with the kids. I go to let the dog outside. Yeah, I open yeah. the sliding glass door. Motherfucker, Tom. Yeah. You kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> At least I made it outside. Yeah. Right? Oh, that's that? good. Yeah. At least you got outside. Yeah. Barely made it outside. Barely made it outside. Could have made it out in the grass a little bit, maybe. Yeah. He's looking at his arm today. He's like, what? What the fuck happened? Tom, you fell down the stairs. Yeah, I also, I'm not proud of that. There's I, only two stairs in the house. No. <laughs> yeah, very embarrassing. Yeah. I fell down both stairs. That's pretty bad, Tom. Huh? It's a ranch. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, I was drunk, pal. That's what happens. Man. Oh, my God. No, they're keeping their beer down like the boiler room behind the stage. There, there are these uh, big commercial why? refrigerators because you need know. a lot of beer. So you need to use all the big fridges. I brought my own cooler, but it was they gone had, fast. And yeah. they had a cooler and we drank all that too. So we were welcomed to to watch the show from the side of the stage. It was an amazing experience. And then the beer we had to just go get down the flight of stairs. Right. Tom fell. We set mm-hmm. him for the next round and he fell down the stairs. <sighs> yeah. So after that... fell down like six stairs. I mean, I'm... Metal. I mean, yeah, raw yeah, yeah, yeah. stairs. Beat up pretty bad, I remember, mm-hmm. until like... I was reminded of it this morning. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, I did. I partied my ass off with Cody Jinx and C.B. Dalloway and his dad. So we had a great time. Definitely worth it. I was mm-hmm. dancing on the side of the stage. We were told numerous times to get back because we were coming onto the stage too much. <laughs> so the guy, the tour manager, had to put a line that we couldn't cross. <laughs> Do not cross this line. I actually put the line up and told Tom not to cross it. Oh, you did that? Yeah, I did that. Oh, shit. <laughs> I said, boys, there's a line here. You're not supposed to be crossing it. So well, some fan of mine was in the crowd and took a video and sent it to me today, which is hilarious. That is hilarious. Where it's Cody Jenks singing, and then he veers off a little bit to the side of the stage, and it's me dancing with Karen, grabbing her by the ass cheeks. I like that Keith said Keith was a tour manager in charge of us. He said, or I'm in charge of the show, but also keeping him in line. Yeah. He said, you had to move over. They can see that you're grabbing her. It wasn't like, <laughs> they see you. No, you're, she's getting grabbed too much. Yeah. You guys need to step aside. And I learned how to dance from Booger off of Revenge of the Nerds. Oh, okay. With those big fat women who grabbed their, their butts. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's how I slow dance. That's a good way to, to learn, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good pa- way to learn. Pappy showed me that video at a young age. And oh, yeah, I did. It was my, over was, and over. Oh, yeah, I mean, repeatedly. <laughs> yeah. You just got your asses whipped. By yeah. a bunch of goddamn nerds. Yeah. Nerds! Remember it well. If I was you, Pappy, I'd do something about it. I'd go out there and I'd redeem myself in the eyes of my father, my maker, and my coach. You got it, Tommy. Yeah. You learned well. I did. Look at you now. Well, I got a 15 on my ACT, but I could recite every line from Revenge of the Nerds perfectly. That's right. <laughs> that was more important, be, wasn't it? Something to be said for that. Wasn't yes. that more important, though, yeah, son? That definitely was, Pappy. Okay. I would not be where I am today without that Revenge of the Nerds training. You're darn right, you aren't. <laughs> So yeah, Pappy, you've been talked about every episode. You're going to be on the tenth episode. Finally, it has happened. The fans have all been waiting for. They've this. been they've been waiting for you to talk on here. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? Not much. What do you want to hear? <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you want to hear, brother? I I want to 
Well, I guess we should go with the pelican story because everybody asks about it. Yeah. Oh, the pelican. Pelican. Everybody wants to know why the hell there's a pelican on all my shit and my logo. There's a pelican. Why would there be a, a pelican on a deer? I mean, it's just out of nowhere there's a pelican. Well, that Can was you... the brother's favorite uh, bird. Who the hell are the brothers? Well, that was part of the Elmhurst College, 1972. So we got to go back to 1972, Elmhurst College. Yeah. I will tell you the way it was formed. Okay, go ahead. There was a guy named... They call me Huck Finn. Yes. Okay. Right. Then there's a guy named uh, Mickey Rooney. So Mickey, <laughs> Mickey Rooney called me Mickey Finn. That's how it went. It's the, the Mickey <laughs> brothers, okay? okay? It wasn't nothing to do with Huck Finn. Okay. Okay. It's the Mickey, <laughs> it's the Mickey it's brothers. Mickey Rooney and Mickey Finn. Yes. Okay. So we shook hands and said, we're the brothers. Okay. So that's how it all started. So it started? At Elmhurst College, 1972. I thought it started I thought it because you guys... No, 72. All the guys in the fraternities call themselves brothers. And well, yeah. You well, want to start your own fraternity because you're on a football tried, team. They tried to get us into all these fraternities, and we said, no, let's start our own fraternity. Yeah. And you just called yourselves the brothers. Yeah, the Mickey brothers. So where'd this Pelican come from? Thad came a few years later in a place called Daytona Beach. I think he was there. I was just there two weeks ago. That's where I was. That was where the Pelican story was. No, going. last weekend. Yeah. yeah. That's there. where the Pelican story started. Oh, my God. Mm hmm. We used to go down to the Daytona 500 every year, a bunch of the brothers. Yep, it was right there. And we would uh, jog on the beach every morning. Yeah, the we jog. We'd get drunk up. every night and we'd jog on the beach in the morning. Yeah. Then we'd jog back to the hotel and start drinking again. Okay. Anyway, one morning, Brother Jim Lipner was jogging. He seen something out of the corner of his eye. And it was a pelican that was in distress. So Jim went over there and he helped the pelican. Uh, he had something in his throat <coughs> or something. And Jim dislodged it. Oh, wow. And he picked the pelican up and it, the pelican took off. And ever since then. And ever since then, it's been a favorite of the brothers. Yeah. And he had it on all of his coats and jackets and shirts. Yeah. But we used to love sitting on the balconies too and watching them fly by. They'd be like four right in, you know, like geese, you know, they're right in the room. Were you smoking weed or something? Oh, we never did. Brothers don't believe in that. You just drank. <laughs> Drinking beer. Yeah, you guys just got drunk and watched uh, birds fly. We'd sit on the balcony like five stories up, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Over the ocean, ocean front rooms. The brothers, nothing but the best, you know. First class for the brothers. Yeah, we'd, uh, but they'd fly right by our room. But then Jim found the almost dying one, and then and that's, that sealed it. That sealed it. That yeah. was the brother bird from yeah. then on. Yeah. yeah, so it's always been the brother <clears throat> that's bird. Why I put it all on all my stuff, there's got to be a pelican somewhere. And that was in uh, 1978 or something, a long time ago. So fast forward to 1970. No, no. Backtrack to 1973, yes. Elmhurst College, when you still hold the all-time world record for the, what, 220-meter hurdles or something? Actually, it's the 440 uh, hurdles, 440-meter okay. hurdles. Well, yes. tell us that story as well. That's a good one. Tell well, us. it was at Elmhurst College. It was at the dorms. I, I was visiting people, you know, <clears throat> and I was leaving, and I, I'd seen that the track was all set up at the hurdles, and I'd been <laughs> drinking a little bit. So I, I said, I'm going to run over that hurdles. So I broke the fence down, and I ran over all every hurdle on the track, 440 yards. Broke every one of them. I thought you did with your vehicle. <clears throat> well, I did. In my, I was driving, yeah. So you're driving. I am driving. What kind of vehicle were you driving? A 1970 Duster. You're driving a Dodge Duster. <laughs> are you darn right. Yeah, like gold, hey, Gold Duster. A gold, just, that dar, that's a gold Duster. A gold Duster. Yeah. And you rode over every single hurdle while yeah. people are watching for the dormitories, correct? Like, oh, yeah. We have uh, witnesses that saw it. Yeah. And then you took off out of town. Didn't the police catch you? Well, was it was kind of a, like, uh, you ever watch Belushi in the Animal House? Yes. I was leaving, you know, and I, I see all these hurdles on the track. <laughs> and I kind of stopped, and I kind of, you know, how I did his eyes. Yeah, the eyes got and real big. The eyes got real big, and I said, <laughs> boom, I turned it right in there. <laughs> Ran over every hurdle on the track. <laughs> and then you And I was stopped, and I went home. Yeah, for what? DUI? Oh, uh, DUI. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was well, yeah. stopped on DUI. And, uh, did you get out of that DUI, though, or something? Actually, I almost got out of it. There's one thing that really nailed the case. What? They found a piece of hurdle stuff in my radiator. <laughs> That's not mine. <laughs> so I didn't get out of it. No. <laughs> I almost got out of it. Except for the hurdles stuck to the radiator. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. shit. Yep. That's how they found me. They found the, the radiator, you know. Oh, it was yeah. leaking everywhere. Leaked it. He's a leaker. And then uh, there's another funny story of yours in a vehicle that I, I've been told many numerous times from, from family members. Really? 
you're at some bar called the Bungalow. Yes, I was. Which is Bungalow was a really rough bar back in the seventies. Lots of fights, like Roadhouse. Yeah, it was actually uh, it was five miles east of Sycamore. Yeah, and it's by Bajo Speedway Dirt Track. We would go there when the bars would close at midnight or one o'clock on the weekends in Sycamore. Mm -hmm. But the bungalow was up until two o'clock. So everybody would get drunk, you know, and then we go to the bungalow. So Uncle Nino, who yeah. married your sister. Uncle Nino, yes. Took off, they got in a fight, and Nino took off running down the bike path that leads back five miles back to Sycamore. Yeah, it's it's like a wooded right there. bike yeah, path. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right there. So you took off in your gold duster, correct? Actually, I was not in a gold duster. That, that, that had been the old gold duster been in a junkyard. <laughs> Who were you driving this I was time? driving a Monza, I think. A Chevy Monza? A Monza, never even heard of that. I bought it from Al Mackey. Oh, uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> probably, you probably got ripped off big time. So he was driving. You took uh, off taking after him, right? Down the yeah, bike path. Yeah, because he got in a big fight, and it's like five miles. He was running down the bike path. So you took the Mazda or whatever. I took the Mazda out of the parking lot of the bungalow, <laughs> and I were going down 64, which is right next to it. Right. Road. And I see, uh, we're looking for Nino, and I thought I saw him, but it wasn't him, so I pulled into the next side road. Right. And I drove back up the bike path, like two miles up the bike path. And I seen a car following me and that's the police. real slow, <laughs> going, what's well, man, I got up and they have poles there so you can't get off the bike path. Yes. Oh, no. Yeah, the, the state police is right there. <laughs> oh, shit. State police asked me, what the hell are you doing on the bike path? It's hey, what, like three in the morning. What'd you tell her, Pappy? I said, well, my brother-in-law <laughs> got in a fight. My sister was looking for him. He started running home. I mean, it's... It's cold, it's winter time. Yeah. I said, I'm trying to find him. And he told me, he said, if you can back off of this, he had to back off two miles, you gotta back up. Yeah. Very, it's very, you know, narrow bike path. Yeah. It like just fits the car pretty much. <clears throat> yeah. So if you can, buy, you can back this off there, I'll let you go, because I know you ain't drunk. And so I backed that baby all the way off of there. But I was drunk. I've been drinking since noon, so this was what three in the morning. Oh, jeez! Yeah. You're a professional. But he said uh, back then. Oh, he was, no, he was waiting for me, and I said, "Okay, go ahead, man. You're good." <laughs> so I took off, and uh, we got almost to town. I seen the state, same state cop. He was pulled over, and he had Nino. Oh no! Nino, I didn't know back, this part of the story. <laughs> Nino was in the back of the squad car. What? Yeah, down there by the used to be State Street Motors. I don't yeah, know what yeah. it is now. It has the Welcome to Sycamore sign. Yeah, Welcome to Sycamore. Nino was in the back of the squad car, and I pulled in behind the cop, got out, and said, that's who I'm looking for. <laughs> and he said, will you take him home? I said, I sure will. <laughs> and I took him home. Yeah, see, back True then. True story. Back then, the DUI laws were very laxed. Because you, you can't do that kind of stuff now. Did Jesus you see Christ. driving on the bike path now? You'd be on the fucking paper and the news everything else. Oh, hell yeah. But I back, that was tough backing that off of there. I bet it was. Oh, it paid off. Oh, yeah. Big well, my wife was with me. It was my girlfriend at the time. Yeah. She was Who, my helping. mom? No, actually, it was your mom. You son of a bitch! She was with me. She helped me. She was watching the one side. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, well, no, no wonder, people, this is why I am like I am. That's my parents that's right. right there. That's right. In so, a nutshell. That's in a nutshell. That's in a nutshell. There's another interesting story there with uh, Nino, too. What, 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 what? At the bungalow. You probably never heard of that one. Well, tell it, Pappy. It's well, the time a, to tell it, buddy. There was a guy named Coca-Cola Cowboy used to hang out with us. Well, and he has the record for most DUIs in one day. Yes, correct? he does. He, he has, has two DUIs. That is a beautiful story as well. He has two DUIs in one day. Tell that story real quick how he got the two DUIs. Coca-Cola Cowboy? He got arrested like at noon or well, two. No, it was like six at night he got arrested, you know? Yeah. He had a fight with his girlfriend. Right. So he got arrested and... Uh, DUI. DUI, bailed himself out. The cop said, go home, Al. Right. Throw him as Al. Yeah. So then about uh, 11 o'clock, he's arrested again. <laughs> but wasn't he fleeing the police as well? Oh, that was a different thing. Oh, that was a different thing. Because <laughs> he couldn't see the cops uh, yeah. on his Harley because he didn't have a rear mirror? Yeah, that was a different time. He was on a Harley. He got, he got arrested. He drove his Harley in a ditch and he got arrested. And the cops said, why didn't you stop? He said, well, my mirror was, so, wasn't right. I yeah. couldn't see you. So Coco Cowboy is one of the brothers. Oh. He's one of the legendary he's a brother brothers. Legend, he's a brother yeah. icon. And... Possibly he, the best brother I can ever. Yeah, two DUIs one night, uh, DUI and the Harley. Harley. Had his own bar in Wisconsin. Yes, he did. Um, was making a lot of money, and he was like on a mountain at that time, and then he yeah. fell off the mountain. Oh, yeah. By, like the old Merle Haggard. So. Yeah, just like that Merle Haggard. I'm always on a mountain when I fall. Yeah. So Coke, <clears throat> who I've known since I was a little kid, he used to pass under the kitchen table with his boots yeah, on. Yeah, remember that time? He'd have when his cowboy boots kid? still on, and be under the kitchen table, we'd be yeah. eating supper and shit. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Um, you was in your... Uh, 
I care. Yeah, and then Al would be passed out. Al was under the table. <laughs> under the sleeping. table sleeping. Yeah. Good so, guy. So <laughs> Al had his own bar, correct? He had his own bar in Kingston, Wisconsin. And then he was, what, he fired off a bunch of rounds? Uh, actually, he uh, did a good business, and then his bartenders uh, took all, stole all his money, and he didn't pay any income tax. Oh, shit. So they're so going to the take the bar come in, or somebody come in there, he's going to take the bar, and he barricaded himself in there. Yeah. And he drank every every piece of alcohol in there, every bottle, <laughs> yeah, awesome. everything. Drank it all. Didn't he? Was he shooting a shotgun off too and shit? Yeah, he was shooting a shotgun off. Fireworks wouldn't let him in there. Yeah, and um, he was eventually arrested. Correct. He was arrested. Yes. And he then was. he when he he got out and he just took off. Never told anybody where he went. Nobody yes, saw him was. again no, until he, he died. Gone. He was gone for years. He was uh, nobody, homeless. Nobody. Nobody had no idea what, what happened to him. They ended up finding him dead in was, <clears> well, uh, actually, Arizona, right? Actually, Mark McPherson found him in Arizona and did talk to him shortly before he died. Yeah. So he he moved he went to Arizona with a dog, and he, never, he was homeless for years. Yeah, he lived in a homeless tent or something, right? Yeah, he lived with homeless people. So this sounds like cowboy yeah. camp thirty years from now. This is going to be cowboy camp, yeah, with a bag of money. <laughs> no, didn't forget, didn't pay That's the right. taxes. Yeah. yeah, forget fled. the taxes, right? Yeah, and never seen again. He'd be digging Damn. up holes in the forest, mm -hmm. barefoot, running around. Everybody think it's. Think, what's it, Bigfoot? Bigfoot. You think it's Cam's 300 yeah. pounds? Yeah. <laughs> that Cam will probably be bigger than Tank. Oh, God. He's That's another pounds. drink, too, by the way. He'll be barefoot, though, right? He'll be barefoot, yeah. Yeah. 500 pound barefoot man. Uh, oh, jorts God. on. <laughs> Denim jorts. Incredible. Mustache. Yeah, a mustache that's out of control. I heard that. Is it really? Yeah, his mustache is out of control. He doesn't, he doesn't believe in trimming. Really? Hey, not much of a trimmer. Yeah, you got to keep it trimmed. You, want to get him you to said that was a manscape or whatever, right? Probably should. Yeah. Yeah, get him a manscape. Yeah. His girlfriend would appreciate that. Oh, I bet you would. They still feel like shit, Pappy. Oh, come on. Now, what, did, what, did, what did Brother Minigan always tell you? A couple beers, picks you right up. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm drinking one of these Bloody Marys. Mm-hmm. Okay, also drinking his first Bloody Mary he's ever had in his life. Really? Yeah, I never... I don't like tomato juice, so I go, why would I ever drink a Bloody Mary? I don't like tomato juice. Oh, man. It doesn't make any sense to me. Mm -hmm. I had one of these in uh, Miami, Florida, $27. What? Yeah, at the airport. 27 bucks. A couple years ago, he's down. Oh, I was with you, Tom. Last down. year. It was last, uh, <laughs> last January, yeah, February. In Miami airport, Pappy ordered two Bloody Marys for us. Yeah. And they're $27 a piece. So what'd yeah. you say? Said, Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, what yeah. the fuck is this? $27? Yeah, 27 bucks a piece. It would be the best Bloody Mary I ever fucking had. It and terrible. it wasn't. It was terrible. It was terrible. I should have ordered a beer. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was going to an airport, man. They turned the, the, yeah. the ass. Man. I learned, yeah. I haven't been in an airport, like, for years till then. Pappy hadn't flown since 1979. I've flown since 1979. Since he, since he came back from uh, Daytona Beach at one time. I came back from uh, Las Vegas. First time I've flown since it was 1979 until I flew with you last year. Yes. Oh, my God. That's, you were very nervous. I was very nervous. That's 40 years. Yeah, I know. I hadn't flown in 40 years. Yeah. Holy shit, I'd be nervous, too. Now, Pappy, you're supposed to be getting a lot of money. Somebody said that's no. Uh, I can't comment on that. No, no comment. No, no comment. No, you don't want to bring up the money. Uh, no comment. No. All right. Well, let's just say you that's have. That's a fallacy. No, All right. No, let's no, just no. say uh, you have a bunch of money. Let's just pretend that you fell into a couple million dollars. Your scratch offs okay. at the gas station. Yeah. Let's just. Let's just One came through. Well, Make, not down here. They never got them down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that Shell gas station sucks. Really. Um, but. I said, what would you do with the money if you if you get you want a bunch of money? What would you do? I'd probably just put it in a bank and just live my regular life. Yeah, you said you might buy a kegerator and maybe a new bike. Yeah, I wouldn't buy a kegerator. No, he likes canned beer. I like canned beer. Okay, so you'd buy what? I might buy it. upgrade my fridge? bike. I don't know. I might upgrade my bike. Yeah, and I asked you, well, are you going to buy like a new nice truck or something? You said, oh, no. I oh. get this one fixed up. I can see it right up. <laughs> I said, well, how many miles? Is that a 99 Impala? <laughs> yeah. How many miles did Impala have? 300,000. Oh, 300,000. Like Bundy. Sweet yeah. turns. Yeah. yeah. That baby runs good. That started every day this summer. Starts every day. Every winter it starts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why would you get rid of it? Kind of wise, right? Well, where would you want to? You said you wouldn't move either. No, I like Sycamore. I mean, now everybody knows where you live, Pappy. If I wouldn't move, maybe I would go to uh, Key West. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I like Key West. He's going to have to move. You keep telling everyone his address. Yeah, yeah, but his Instagram will change to whatever Key oh, West yeah. Florida. <laughs> yeah. 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 Make that mistake yeah. again. Yeah, it'll be Palm Tree 385. <laughs> Palm Tree 385. Yeah. Yeah. So you're, uh, the best place you've ever been is probably Key West. Oh, I loved it there, yeah. yeah. You know what another place I liked was? Fargo, North Dakota. 
You liked Fargo that I much? I loved it. Like the opposite of yeah. Key West. <laughs> I love Fargo. Yeah, I remember. Well, yeah. uh, what's there to do in Fargo? Uh, drink beer. And shovel snow. Oh, shit. No, it's the summer. I was up there. It was really nice. Well, backtrack, Pappy. Yeah. Pappy retired from his first job as a construction worker. Got a bunch of money. I, I was 45 bought, years old. Every bought a brand new van yeah. with TV in it, all kinds of stuff. Oh man, was we living high? We were living high, and it was like my junior year. Yeah, summer. it was your junior year. Summer, so man. Pappy took us all over the country. I mean, oh we, man, we had a good time. We we stopped at every Hooters. Oh. Uh, we took it all the way to Tijuana. We went everywhere. Yeah, we were everywhere, and we were in it. when We went to Fargo. Yeah, well, you, but, you were supposed to be to Fargo. Speaking of that trip, I remember you leaving the hotel room somewhere in. Gillette, Wyoming, or where did we stop at? Casper, Wyoming? I'm not sure, son. You have to be more specific. Okay, well, you're, this will ring a bell for sure, Pappy. Okay. Uh, let me bring you back to the time you left us and went to a strip club. Uh, that was Rock City, <laughs> Wyoming. <laughs> <laughs> you said it was the worst strip club you ever been in? Oh, it was horrible. There, there's no PBR or something either? There's no PBR. There was like one dancer, two people in there. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't pay no attention to me. Yeah, I remember. I remember you came back. I was very upset. That was the worst I've ever been at. Fucking Wyoming, out in Wyoming at a yeah. nudie bar. Rock City, Wyoming. That's one. I'll never go back there. Anybody from Rock City? Yeah, anybody from Rock City? Your town sucks. Your town sucks ass. <laughs> at the worst strip club Pat's ever been in. It was. That was horrible. And he's been to the Lamplighter, so it must be bad. Well, that was the best. <laughs> yeah, Lamplighter is the best. Yeah, that is. <laughs> yeah, that was a good trip, Pappy. Um, yeah. And also on that trip, Pappy didn't pack anything. Yeah, I didn't pack anything. Like he, I travel light. Pa pa Pappy brought <laughs> towel light. He brought 10 cases of Pabst Ribbon because you drank Pabst. Oh, yeah. And he hid them under all the seats in the car. Yeah. So every case, there's cases under all the seats yeah. and a toothbrush. Yeah. Nothing else. <laughs> not one other, not one pair of underwear, not one shirt. Nothing. And we just took off. Next yeah. thing we know, we're in uh, Utah like in two days. Yeah. Pappy stops at a Walmart, gets decked out in Utah Ute stuff, yeah, so throws the other way. shit away, everything brushes his garbage. teeth with the beer, until <laughs> we take off again. Oh my so God. that's how Pappy, that's how Pappy is living life that's on the high of the hog, man, huh? That's good traveling. The mm -hmm. first time Tom and I ever took a trip together, and if anyone does, most people probably don't know, I pulled you right out of your house. You never lived on your own. I, lived, you lived I went in, to college. No, in a dorm. <laughs> that's for a living on my own, no, Karen. <laughs> So, yeah. so Pappy took care of you your whole life until I had to take care of you. True. So we go on our first trip together, and he buys the plane tickets, and he thinks that we're done planning. And I'm like, booking hotels and thinking when we're going to go and what we're going to do. He's like, why are you doing all this? Because he had Pappy where there was not even... Everything spur the moment. Everything spur the moment. Everything spur the moment. Why you should book a hotel. Yeah, I never I heard of any planning at all. I don't know, I don't know why you yeah. need a hotel right now. I'm like, oh, so worry about that when you get there. Worry yeah. about that when you get there. Well, that's what he said. I yeah. said, I don't like right. that. Yeah, we should worry about it when we get there. We'll, yeah, we'll figure it out. you don't find one, sleep in the van or whatever. That's pretty we, much what I did in Miami. <laughs> we moved in together. He had some garbage bags of clothes and a cardboard cutout and a grill and a bed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a good deal. Like that was my only belongings I owned at the time. Yeah. Well, that's like... You're a lucky man, uh, son. The difference between women and men. Like, men don't... I don't plan shit. My wife plans everything. And then she gets all pissed off because so I'm like, we'll just yep. fucking figure it out later. Yeah. You know, right. when, we're like, whenever we go do stuff, like if, or if I'm with you going to do like... Um, you're not going to do a meet or right. whatever. She's like, what are you guys going to do? Or I'm like, I don't know. I have no idea. We'll have to figure it out when we get there. Yeah. yeah I don't I have no idea. We're going to eat. Uh, place that has food, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know. No, what about that? I don't like planning because, you know, especially... I don't like, like planning at all. Yeah, especially my job. I get pulled in 10 different directions. Like, I just get too busy. Yeah. It's yeah. easier to just be like, oh, we're going to make it, we're make it. If we don't, we don't. And we'll That's figure right. it out when we get figure there. Just figure it out when you get there. Karen's got like a whole so list. Women, women are different that way. You know, they got calendars yep. and stuff. Oh, Jesus, I know. Oh, yeah. Karen's got 17 calendars. Yeah. Google Docs. Google Docs. All <laughs> kinds of crap. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, it's organization. Yeah. Just show up. How else are we supposed to keep you guys in line? That's I don't true. know. I guess you're, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, son. Oh, I never did finish that story about Coca Cola in the parking lot. A bungalow. Yeah. You said I didn't know this story. You didn't know that. This better be good, Pappy. Okay, it's like closing time. Everybody's <laughs> piling into the cars, you know. Yeah. Coke's got his truck there. Nino and my sister pile into his truck. Yes. So, Coke starts spinning donuts around in the parking <laughs> lot. It's a gravel parking lot. Spent a donuts and he flips his truck <laughs> right upside down in the parking lot. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did you yeah. have to go rescue him? Yeah, then we, a bunch of us got up, we pushed it back over, you know. Oh, and then we, we wouldn't let Coke drive. Nino, <laughs> yeah. Nino drove it back. 
Yeah, that's enough. We're not going to let you drive Nino now. drove it back to the Maury's parking lot. <laughs> yeah. I remember seeing it. There's oil and gravel all over the car. <laughs> yeah, Maury's is another bar in Sycamore, which is like 10 miles from there. Yeah, Maury's a good uh, Yeah, we figured out that you flipped your car over. You probably should be driving. Uh, Nino, you drive. I thought it was very good by Nino to make that assumption. Yeah, you know, he shouldn't be driving. Yeah. What did Nino, what did Nino have, about 25 old styles? Yeah, he probably that? had 25 old styles. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, Coke is a legend. Oh, he's a brother legend, yes. Yeah, yeah he is. I love that bar he had up there in Wisconsin. You know what the name of it was? Al's Place. Oh, what a good name. Yeah. Al's Place. <laughs> His real name is Al Pura. Well, we might, maybe our, our bar will call it Al's Place when we get it. I like right. Karen's Corner. We'll name it after Al. Yeah, it might make more sense for Karen's Corner. Karen's Corner. It's more famous. Oh, that's yeah. true. We gotta go with Karen's Corner. I mean, come on, Tony. Everything will be pelicans. Uh, pelicans. Pelicans everywhere. Are the pelicans best. all over the place. Pelicans live. are the best. We'll have live pelicans. I love pelicans. You know, we'll there's white pelicans up here in Illinois. We'll make you an honorary bartender like every Friday or something. Really? Bartender. Yeah, we do that. Oh, that'd be awesome. We're not gonna pay you, but... Oh, I don't need no pay. You'll work for tips. I'd be a lot of tips. Yeah, just pop your shirt off, put a bow tie yeah. on. Oh, yeah, uh, like, like Farley, right? Yeah, Chris Farley. Yeah. Be perfect. You and Tank. <laughs> Come on. Tank, may have Tank. Come on. <laughs> <You and Tank. laughs> By the time that bar opens, though, Tank might be all fit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his Tank's getting big. Jack David man. Diesel. Yeah. yeah, Tank said when he gets fit, that he's not going to talk to any of us anymore. Yeah. Like he's going to be a complete asshole. Mm -hmm. Opposite. I can see that. Like, I can see that. He's going to be real cocky, make fun of fat people. Yeah, get sponsored by Jim Shark. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. posing. Uh -huh. His hair will be growing out. Yeah, tons of selfies with his underwear hanging out. He'll be driving around like a Lexus laughing uh, at us. Yep. I can see it. I can see it now too, Pappy. And then right back to the road, of back to 500. Yeah, then he'll be 500 again. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Tom. We're just trying to mention Tank's name so many times in this podcast so everybody has to drink. Oh, yeah. That's, a, that's the thing. Yeah, Tank's a good friend of mine. Oh, you said Tank twice. That's two more drinks. I yeah. just said it. That's another drink. He's a good friend of mine. Tank. He's at my house at 7 this morning. Yeah, why? Because so we want to get our training out of the way. Because I know oh, if I wow. come here in the afternoon, well, I'm not going to be good to lift later. I'll be too drunk. Oh, right, you know, that's I'll true. Barely, I'll barely make it home in reverse. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I go, well, I'll just train in the morning and get it over with. He's at my house at 7 a.m. Him and Jake Ross. Damn. Who's Jacob Ross? That's my trainer right now. Somebody. Is that the guy from Texas? Yeah. Yeah, the guy that was castrating goats and shit. He's yeah. from Pittsburgh, Texas. Pittsburgh, Texas. Yeah. I have relatives in Texas. Are you serious? I have a, a lot relative. of relatives. I have, relative. no, I have like 30 relatives in Texas. Yeah, half our family's down there. Half our family. More than half. You ever heard of Tim Callis? Yes, I have. Yeah. He's <laughs> no, Tom Callis, I've heard of. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, well, that's my brother. He's in Austin. Of, I've heard of uh, your other brother. Thurston. Thurston. Dr. Know, yeah. Thurston. I know him. Tim in Fort Worth now? No, he's in Austin. He has a record for sleeping with the most 18-year-old women in Austin. I thought he moved back. He's got a record. That's well, that's what he record. told me. That's Did he move back? Record. He's also a big liar, so I don't know what's true. That's a good no, he went back and forth or something. I think he's in Austin now, though. Mm. I know a guy just moved to Austin. Who? A guy I used to work with at the... I'm a janitor at Northern, and he used to work with me. He's yeah, let's, let's get into your uh, careers. What would you do... Uh, yeah, how many careers do you have? Yeah, what would you do... Well, when you actually, I was a teacher at one time. Believe well, where'd you go to school? Well, you went to college. Well, where'd you go to college? I went to Elmhurst College. Well, that's what you heard. Well, what'd heard you study? The record. What, what was your study? What do you mean, study? <laughs> what was your major? Oh, okay. Football, uh, wasn't it? Football. Yeah, you played football. Oh, it's physical education. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, tell me, you played football in college. Yes, I did play football. Though. And didn't you, you threw the javelin? Yes, I did throw the Oh, that was a real didn't, good uh, javelin. Did that Jenner guy throw the javelin? Bruce Jenner? Yeah. He's a girl now. That's yeah, that's one of Pappy's buddies. Yeah. He's still no, a javelin guy. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's. I think I'm older than him. Um, but did you go to like the nationals or something for the javelin? As a matter of fact, I did. And, uh, <laughs> that was also you had the javelin on top of your gold duster, correct? When I was a freshman at uh, Kissikawaki College, <laughs> yeah, in Malta, yeah, I uh, nobody beat me there. I beat everybody my freshman year. Right. Yeah. But then you went to the Nationals down in Phoenix, Arizona, right? That's what I mean. I beat everybody around here. Never lost until I got to Phoenix, Arizona. Did you say you got drunk all the way down? I met a guy named Paps Blue Ribbon down there. Yeah. And that was the end of it. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I was like number one rated. I was going to win the Nationals mm -hmm. in Arizona. He sabotaged you? I never lost in uh, in Illinois. I won everything. Yeah. Got down to Arizona and he got bloated because he's down these my He's on Arizona State campus. Oh, yeah. That's so nice. Yeah. Pappy got drunker in hell and got drunk in hell and I, I never, never even placed. Never even placed. Oh no. No. And that was the end of it. That's as far as I ever got. You could have been the next Bruce Jenner. I mean the next year I got I never got to the Nationals. 
And then you went to Elmer's. And then I went to EC, and then it's all downhill from there. Yeah. So what did you do after you graduated? I taught at uh, Glen Byrd North High School for one year. PE? Actually, I was like a hall monitor. <laughs> so what did you was. teach? Well, I was like a, <laughs> a full-time <laughs> substitute. Oh, okay. So I was there all the time, and if somebody missed, I'd take their class. Yeah. But, so you're uh, a nope. jack of all trades. I was like a jack of all trades. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was a hated man there. <laughs> Why is that? Because I was, uh, I'd pull in all the smokers. I was like the, under the dean, so I was, I was his guy, you know, the hit man. I'd catch everybody smoking or yeah. doing crap. So I was very hated there. I was threatened several times. And then you went to another school, correct? Yes, I did. Where was that at? A place called Ludlow, Illinois. And you taught there. What'd you teach? I was the eighth grade teacher there. And then something happened. It was a it? small school. Uh, I don't know if anybody's heard of Rantoul, Illinois. Yeah, it's down by Champaign. Right by Champaign. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, something happened there. Didn't you pick a kid up out of his desk or some shit? Yeah, I picked the kid up out of his desk, and uh, the parents were very upset about it. And then you... I don't know why. <laughs> what was this? This is like, yeah, what, the 80s? Found, found upon? 70s? No, this is probably... This was like 1976. 70. So, the parents would be okay with it back then, I guess not. Oh no, they, they were very... Well, you, every summer you still work construction, though, too. Oh yeah, it's always a construction. Like, like uh... Road construction. Shit. Road construction. Union labor. I was a union so you labor, your, yeah. You, you had your union card. I always had my union card. So during, when he was at college, you did that during the summer, and then And also, I keep my card paid up all when I taught school. And then when you were teaching school, you are doing it during the yeah, summer. Yeah, but Ludlow, I did not like that place. So what'd you write in the chalkboard? Uh, Mr. Fell will not be here anymore. And then what happened? I left town, never to see it again. Where'd you go? I never see it again, Texas. Then you went to Texas. I went to Pittsburgh, Texas. <laughs> I'll never be seen again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, with Jacob Ross. I'll never be seen again. You were down there castrating cows and shit. I was never ever seen in that town again. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. And they, they sent me letters. These kids sent me letters. I was an eighth grade teacher. And the kids did send me letters to Mr. Finn, please come back, please come back. And Because I was a good teacher, you know. He imagine me as a teacher? <laughs> no. I'm sure I was very lenient, you know. Yeah. <laughs> But I never taught after that. I think I was blackballed after that. Yeah, you were blackballed. Black what, you, you came back to Illinois and then you for construction. I came back to Illinois. Here's another story. The uh, the head of the town, Ludlow, Yes. the head of the school board, wanted to fly to where I was at and talk to me. What? Man. Yeah. Jesus, it's like you're playing for the Dallas Cowboys. Because uh, nobody knew where I was at. You get recruited. The only person who knew where I was at was my mom. Yeah. Yeah. What I a, told nobody else. What about Grandpa Finn? Oh, he did not know. He couldn't hear. Yeah, Grandpa Finn would he probably told him he couldn't hear. Grandpa Finn would probably beat the shit out of you. I'm sure he would have. <laughs> <laughs> <You> stupid. <laughs> but uh, they didn't know where I was at. But the one guy did want to contact me, fly to me. That's how good I was. Wow. But I never did. And then they blackballed me, so I went to construction after that. That's nah, easier. Then you worked at a power plant and shit. Oh, yeah. I worked at the nuclear plants, two of them. Yeah, they said. And you're like Homer Simpson. Yeah. yeah. A lot of interesting stories at the power plants. Well, we're here for stories, man. You yeah. just can't say a lot of interesting man, stories. I worked, with a lot of, you know, I worked with a lot of interesting people. Oh, yeah, I bet. Like Zeke Seabrass, you ever heard of him? Yeah, didn't he die because he didn't have booze? <sighs> yes, he did. Because yeah. he cut his arm off, chainsaw accident? Yeah. Right? Zeke Seabrass, yeah. He drank like a, oh, jeez. Yeah. Speaking of drinking, you going to work. Yeah. Weren't you going to, was Zeke, Se was Zeke Seabrass or? Who's that other idiot? Terry Chamberlain. You were sitting in the back seat with your beer cooler, and they're in the front seat on the way to work. Oh no, that was Terry, uh, Kenny Scott. Oh, okay. So you're on your way to work. Three. We was working at uh, Jack Cameron up on I-39. Yeah. And uh, I would not let the radio be on when I went to work. You just, want, you just wanted silence. No, no. I had a beer cooler in the back with ice, and I could hear that sloshing around. You know, when every time we turned, it sloshed around. That's what he wanted to hear. I, was so I don't want to hear nothing but that beer sloshing around. <laughs> Okay. That's music to my ears, <laughs> and that got me through the day. Cause there's light, that was your light at the end of the tunnel. Oh hell yeah! I got a jackhammer all day as long as I had that beer there. Yeah, it's a reward. Oh hell. Well, it, what boy, that was cold too. You couldn't stick your hand in what it. What about those other guys? Mexicans wouldn't stick their hand in that beer. <laughs> they'd have me get it. They'd say they call me Dog Man. I said Dog, get me one of them beers. I just stick my hand in there. And I'd get one for him. Yeah. Man, them are cold. Yeah, I, had the cold I can still now. taste them. Pepping can still taste them. Why do they call you Dog Man? 
Dog man? No, I always had dogs. I'm a friend of dogs. Oh, yeah, he had a dog, Petey, who <clears throat> used to hold the beer cooler when you go around curves. Oh, he would, yeah. That's the best thing ever. Yeah, Petey he put his paw on the beer cooler so it wouldn't tip over. <laughs> yes, he Because his beer coolers were like those giant water jugs. From construction sites. Right, so right, right. from construction And then sites. he made them into beer coolers. So the dog would put his paw on so they wouldn't tip it over. Yeah, That's but you're around the corner. Petey put his hand yeah, on. Yeah, Petey is the best. Yeah. Oh, my God. But man, them was cold. But I was talking about the story when the guys were... were Passing the joint around, and the one guy dropped it. The driver. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Who oh, was... Okay. <laughs> we're going to the nuclear plant at Byron, Illinois. Yeah. We're working second shift, yeah. so we have to be there at five o'clock. Right. So it's middle of the winter, like January. I mean, ice covered roads going back roads. You know how they are. Oh yeah. Okay, we're going by eighty. I'd say we're going eighty miles an hour. That's safe. And a guy that's, and you're sitting in the back seat, right? I'm in the back seat, and the guy driving is smoking a joint. So he passes it over to the guy next to him, and they drop the joint. And they both go for it. <laughs> and they, oh, where's that? And they, they come up with it, and they, we're going all over the road. You know? And here's the, the funny part. The guy that's driving, you know what he says? The other guy? I thought you were driving. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best story. That's ever. a serious, that's a true story. Uh, I say that all the time. That is a true story. Well, I thought you were driving. He said, I thought you was driving. What the hell are you doing, you idiot? I thought you was driving. <laughs> Needless to say, I got a new ride the next day. I drove myself. <laughs> I you know, thought you were no driving. No more carpooling for Pappy. No, that was the end of that crap. I mean, that was scary. Yeah, yeah. I believe that. That's a hell of a yeah. story. And then the other guy, uh, riding shine is party time, Kenny Myers or whatever. Oh, Kenny Myers, yeah. That's the guy that, uh, that I was talking about when the beer would be rattling back. You want well, to put the radio on? He said he would be so high sometimes, uh, he would think he'd be at O'Hare Field. Well, that's what he said we were going to that job. But you're like two hours away. You're not at O'Hare Field. You're like on you know, I-88 or something. I mean, the first day we're going to this job. It's, it's all lit it's up. It's dark, you know, because we got to be there early. It's right. dark. We're going the back roads. The beer's sloshing in the back. Right. And we come up upon all this, these lights. It's Interstate 39. Yeah. And Kenny says, Jesus Christ, Tommy, is that O'Hare Field? <laughs> he's so fucked up, he yeah. thought it was O'Hare Field. Because he's smoking all the way up there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was fun times. You know what I'd do when I got to the job on them interstates? I'd pull up on the side, we'd park on the side. Right. Know? And I'd say, first things first. And I'd get out and I'd uh, get my beer out and I'd dump the beer into the cooler. Right. You know, there was some in there, but I'd fill it up. Then I'd throw that carton up in the ditch there, and I'd say, first things first. Get that beer ice down. Oh, hell yeah. That's the first thing we had to do, get that beer ice down. Yeah, when you're uh, when you're working all day, especially like construction or manual labor, oh, like yeah. the cold beer. Oh, there's nothing like, better. I don't know. It's just like it tastes better. Oh, I don't know why. But you, like, you're right. Better. It's like you just think about it, and you're like, yeah. fuck, I remember drinking those cold beers after those long days. That gets you through the day. Yeah. yeah. Big time, man. What about Flipper? Well, Brother Flipper? Uh, he is a, I don't know if you should, you should talk about that. Uh, we probably can't talk about him. No. Right? <laughs> that story where you're in the paper and shit? Flipper's pretty gross. Yeah. Remember? Huh? Weren't you guys in the... You guys are in the... So, NIU, Northern Illinois Yeah, we were in the Northern Star. Yeah. So, you helped build I helped the build, stands uh, at, at NIU, the f football fields. I and, helped build the stands there, and I helped build the... Uh, Fairday Hall. now a lot to Red Hall. It was Fairday. Yeah. Yeah. I helped build that. And you guys were in the their school paper on the front page. Yes, we were. Both of you guys were. You know what their caption was? Something about class clowns. Or class something. clowns. Yeah. Yeah, we got big trouble over that. Yeah, you guys were. <laughs> we was in trouble with the union over that. <laughs> yeah, weren't you saying like a bunch of terrible shit? Oh, yeah, yeah. So we don't do much. We just uh, do practical jokes on people. Yeah, you guys are like fucking put, uh, yeah. blow up sheep in people's cars and shit. Yeah, we did that, yeah. And then, uh, yeah. did you have an autograph signing that night? Yes, I did at Molly's Pub. Yeah, I Yes, we did that. have an autograph session. Yeah, because you never came home that night, I remember. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember that, yeah. That was a bad <laughs> night. <laughs> we had a, we did have an autograph session there at Molly's. I think after this podcast comes out, you're going to have to have another autograph signing. Where that, son? Fucking Arnold. Huck Finn, 1025. Oh, uh, I can't make it there next week. Sorry. It's not next week. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank God it's not next week. week after. I can't make it that week either. <laughs> what? what? No. I thought you said you're coming Sunday. No, remember that. I got everybody. I've told everybody you're going to be here Sunday. No, I can't make it because Brenda's having surgery. Oh, jeez, who cares? She's having surgery, son. I can't. I can't leave. Yeah, but she's having surgery like Thursday. No, Friday afternoon. So come up Sunday, you'll be. Fine. No, I'm not going to be able to come. Uh, I think, son. Oh, God. Yeah, sorry, well, son. You're going to disappoint all the fucking fans, well, Grampy. I'm sorry. Next year, maybe I can make it. Next I year, I won't be able to make it this next year. Next year, I want you to be there, and I want you to drive a gold duster there. 
I'll rent it. I'll strap a bike to the I hood. will do it, yeah. If I can get a dual duster, I will. Unless something comes up. Oh, yeah. yeah. In case the old lady has surgery again or something around the Arnold. Yeah, well, I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it'd be a good, um, what is it, like a showcase. If you have like one of those, like we were talking about the bike thing, that we yeah. don't move. Yeah. yeah. You're riding the whole time. Oh, I can ride, yeah. That's right. what I was going to do. Yeah. yeah, next year. Right? We'll have a bigger booth next year, too. Yeah, you said that next year, yeah. So next oh, year, right there, right we'll have like a feat of strength, you know. So one day oh, like the, uh, the one thing on Seinfeld? Panties on a pole match? Oh, remember the panties on a pole? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. Remember we had panties on a pole fishing for, uh, for perverts once. Yeah, I remember that. We did that. that at Thunder before. Yeah, Country Thunder, we put panties yeah. on a pole and people would go by. And, you know how many times? Oh, a fishing pole? Yeah. No, I think it was a stick. Well, it, it, it was like, have been a fishing it was pole. a giant pole and we put the panties on the end and we had put them above their heads when people would go by and they try to grab them. You know how many times I caught Bachman that year? Oh, yeah, a hundred? Yeah. Chuck Bachman? Yeah. I don't believe Chuck Byro. I wore my panties, so. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we had to use good panties. Oh, hell yeah. That's good. Could you reach in there? Good man. Pappy's getting another beer. This is the sixth beer of the podcast. Jesus, there's none left. Pappy, I heard there's a tradition with you. Every birthday, Yes. you do some kind of more, uh, I do a feat of strength. List. Yes. Yeah, what do you do? It's not a feat of strength. You call it the brother triathlon. It's the brother it's triathlon. Yeah, Every brother, birthday, you do a triathlon? Yeah, brother triathlon. I. I do the, I'll be 68 this year. Okay. So I'm going to do 680 push-ups, and I'll ride my bike 68 miles. Holy shit. And I'll drink 68 beers, hopefully. Well, I usually don't get the beers, but I get the other stuff. You've been doing like uh, four-ounce beers, though. Yeah, if I could do four-ounce, if I could do half beers, I could do it. Yeah. Yeah. He's been doing it for a few how, years How long have you been doing that for? Probably 10 years. Yeah. Man. A couple of years, I, 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 I couldn't do it. I was injured. Oh, no. Yeah, sometimes I have bad injuries. Yeah. Like, like when, when you had a broken leg or a broken knee. Like yeah. when you drink and fall off your bike. Yeah, when I drink and fall off my bike. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I was at the uh, Brother Christmas call, Carl, when you brought that back la yeah. last year, a few months yeah. ago, yeah. I remember I was leaving the bar at like 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah. and I see this bicycle pushed up against a tree with beer in the back. Oh, that was my bike. So yeah. I took one of your beers, I took a swig and put it back. Oh. <laughs> Good. I like well, Pappy would want it. Thanks for not drinking it at all. Yeah, I didn't drink it all. And I Pappy did ride his bicycle home that night, too. Yes, I did. Yeah. You ride your bike to work every day? Uh, not in the winter, usually. I may ride tomorrow. It's going to be nice. Yeah. If there's ice, I don't ride because I've had bad experiences with ice. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got that car. Yeah. Well, so I got the good. duster, so I can do that. <laughs> the duster. Not the duster. I got the, the old uh, Impala. Yeah. Yeah, that'll get me. That starts every day. <laughs> That's good. No, we need to start riding, though. It's getting late now. Well, your goal is to ride from Seattle to New York. Yes, it is. Correct. Remember when yeah. you rode to our house? Oh, that was a mess. Oh, yeah. I rode How many miles there. was it? I think it was 60 miles or something. You planned a 60 mile bike ride on, I don't know, a 98 degree. Oh, it was hot. Well, it's happy. That, day. that was hot. Happy had gotten drunk. Guess you brought just a toothbrush and PBR? Oh, uh, no, like tons of beer <laughs> six and pack more of water. Beer. He had a six pack of beer, no water. Yeah. And it was 90 some degrees, and he got drunk the night before and it took off. Oh, yeah. Early bad. in the morning. I almost got, uh, what do you well, call it? Well, we couldn't find him. He, he said, yeah, I will be here at this lost. time. Yeah. And this time, we're waiting at the finish line. No Pappy. Hour, two hours. We're calling so him. Phone his phone's dead. going right to voicemail. So yeah, we're thinking the worst. Dead. We're calling the hospitals. <laughs> yeah. Pappy's still no Pappy. This is two yeah. and a half, three hours after his time, estimated time of arrival. Yeah, that's my time of arrival was six hours. So we take off after him in my truck. Go and look for him. Yeah. Find him down, down, just entering where we live. Yeah, entering in this down. neighborhood. Yeah. And Pappy, I'm like, where the fuck have you been? And Pappy's like, I couldn't take talk. My, he couldn't. Take my he couldn't life. talk at all. So I'm like, yeah, you I want me to throw the bike in? What's going on? He's barely riding. Looks like he's half dead. <laughs> he's oh, like, yeah. oh, I made it this far. Yeah. So I follow him. You know, gets to the house. Uh, we, he gets, he gets off his bike, and I'm, I got, the, I'm interviewing him. Oh, he gave me a beer. I, I got a beer, and he, and he goes, take the bike, take the bike. <laughs> he's so dehydrated, he couldn't even talk. No, I was bad shape. I said, Pappy, do you have any water? He goes, hey, mistake. I drank six beers. <laughs> Yeah, so six yeah, beers, six and he got years. lost. And his phone died, so he didn't know where he was at. Yeah, I was lost for an you, hour. He did not prepare for no. no. I went down to sub. Yeah, speaking of preparing, I, I, can, I can see how Tom Finn prepares. <laughs> yeah. Same where you came from. Right. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. no prepare. Pappy no, was no. off Show his up. bike, taking over fences and shit. I had no idea where he was at. I did. I, I went through a uh, subdivision. I remember going through backyards. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know where the hell I was at. So Pappy. I'm not going back up that road. I was tired. So I go through the backyards. <laughs> so he finally made it though. How about the time I tried to come from Milwaukee home? Remember that? Yeah, so one? we got. Uh, <clears throat> <Huh>? <laughs> Again, we got very intoxicated. I mean, until two in the morning, we were out at the bar. 
Correct. I was really intoxicated. You know, I was. I was pee my pants drunk. Oh, yeah. uh, Pappy had pissed the couch. So he was I so was, drunk. I mean, I was dehydrated big time. <laughs> and I said, Pappy, today's the day. You got to go to Milwaukee. I'm supposed to drop you off. Let's go. Oh, no, well, I can't go. Going, Jesus. I ain't going. I'm drunk. There's no way in hell I could do that. I said, yeah. come on, you pussy. Oh, you called me a pussy. That's all it took. Yeah. Pappy immediately. Pack that bike up. Let's, let's go. Let's go. So we drive up there. and uh, Yeah. I was so drunk. I was like, I was so hungover that morning. I was sleeping on the way up there. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah, I mean, and then you got off the bike and you asked this lady, you, you come out, the bike, where he's at Lake Michigan in Milwaukee, this yeah. lady goes by him, he goes, excuse me, miss, can you tell me how to get back to Sycamore, Illinois? <laughs> and she yeah. gives him like the dirtiest look yeah. of all time, he goes, thank you very much, I'll find it myself. <laughs> and then <laughs> off Pappy goes, I said, I'll see you later, Pappy. Yep, I'll see you at home. So I take well, off. We didn't get up there until like 10 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, it's 10 a.m. or something. It's like in September, it's it like. Like 100 miles away. Or, yeah, it's 100 miles away. 100 miles away, get back. Uh, then I get a, 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 I don't know, was it a voicemail or a phone call? I can't remember. It's been it's been a while, like 15 years oh, ago. Oh, it's been a long time ago. Something about how, Pappy, you need to come get me now. I am off the bike. <laughs> I am in Libertyville at a bar. Libertyville, Illinois. And I'm at a bar. Pappy almost shit his pants, right? I did on the way up. Oh, you did shit your pants. I had to stop getting new pants on the way up oh. at Walmart. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> what a great start to your bike ride. Oh, so I knew I was in trouble. I mean, <laughs> I peed in my pants, shit in my pants. Now I'm trying to ride 100 miles on a bike. Oh, Don't God. think I'm dehydrated. Well, you made it all the way to Libertyville, Illinois. Yeah, but I think that was, uh, I think you had to drive farther to Libertyville than you did to Milwaukee. <laughs> I did. It took me longer to get there. Yeah, it did. So I, I, I It's like 70 miles, I think I rode. Then I get to the Libertyville to the bar. He said, it was like, it was some Irish bar. It was Finn McCool's. Yeah. Because he you said he had your same last name, so he stopped. Yeah, that's how he stopped. Yeah. There's some like yuppie bar, and Pappy's in there drunker than hell again. And I'm like, come on, Pappy. He's like, you gotta love these guys. It's the so and so. So we have a beer. I was with some other idiot was with me too. I can't remember his name. But I Sellers, remember the guy there, Sean Sellers. I think it was Sean Sellers. And then uh, we picked Pappy up, get his bike in the van, and took him back home. And then we put the van in the wrong gear all the way home. <laughs> put the van. On. <laughs> put the train. Yeah, on. idiot has it low all the way home. <laughs> come on, Tommy. Yeah. No. Well, the music was so loud, yeah, I couldn't even hear it. The music so loud. What the hell? The is, music was. What the hell is that smoke? <laughs> yeah, I blew the van up too on the way home. That was a terrible trip, Pappy. Yeah, you should never did it. My van that I bought. Yeah. To take everybody around the country. <laughs> Tommy ruined it. And then it sat in the driveway. His beautiful yeah. band. Ten years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they never Ten left. years? Yeah. It was. It was yeah. like a storage. I mean, yeah. It was a storage. Like yeah. you, you could peek in, in the window. There's like Tommy's old football helmet. I don't oh, even know. Yeah. It's else. like an extra garage. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. The only needed was a new tranny. I mean, it was a beautiful. I mean, so ran- it only had like ninety thousand miles on it. Yeah, we should have got a new tranny. Oh, I don't ever did. And then uh, we should throw me in there when I was drunk too. Yeah. Wait, what'd you do with the van? It was there. I finally about- got drunk when uh, the mother finally got it junked. Oh no. Yeah. Brenda finally got it junked. Yeah. Against my wishes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, TV still worked. I could go out there and watch TV. Yeah, the TV and the van still worked. Everything <laughs> sweet. Yeah, yeah. Debbie yeah. turned the curtains down and watched yeah, TV I out there. Curtains in there. That's nice. Yeah. That sounds nice. Yeah. I mean, I'll get, maybe, maybe I'll get myself a van. Get you a, should. Get away from everybody a little. Hey, longer. get away from everybody. Hey, tell the story when you had to pick Tommy up in Peoria. Oh shit. We don't yeah. have to say why Tom's in Peoria. Tom needed a ride one well, morning. I remember in Peoria. Yeah. Remember that son? Yeah. Do I? <laughs> Let's just say I was charged. <clears throat> With something. He's intoxicated. He's in the drunk tank. Yeah. Drunk from yeah. concert. All, all, all the charges were dropped. What was the concert, son? It was a Leonard Skinner and Hank Williams Jr. concert. Oh, that's a bad deal right well, there. Well, what happened was, I was this girl asked me to dance. So that I, was a mistake right there. I like danced with her, and I was pretty drunk, because we had got drunk the night before. No, I don't believe you'd be drunk. And then we drank all the way up there. I mean, I was severely intoxicated. and Not to be proud of, son. So I'm dancing with this girl, and there, she has a boyfriend. Oh boy. The boyfriend doesn't say anything to me. That's tells, always a problem. Tells security about me for some reason, like something like I'm dancing with his girlfriend. I don't I know, probably scared heard. of me or something. I never heard it. Well, that's why they asked me to leave. So I ended up getting in a fight with security then, <laughs> and they escorted me outside. So I said, oh, well, I'll go outside and just drink more. So I don't know, because people are still out there partying, you know, because the concert hadn't started yet. What? So, they haven't even seen the start of it? No, I never saw the start of it. <laughs> so I went outside and then got completely naked, and uh, yeah. And you got a call the next morning. I got a call the next morning that said he was in jail, Peoria County. Yes. Could you please pick me up? <laughs> That's yeah, a call yeah. every father wants to get. That's yeah, a beautiful call. Yeah, well, I had a call early in the morning, like at midnight, I got a call from somebody that said, uh, Tommy's gone, we're not responsible for him. I don't know where he's at. Yeah, no, nobody could find me. Yeah. 
So nobody knew I was gone. So I was expecting to call the oh, next yeah, morning. Yeah, so. yeah. 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 Pappy didn't say, oh, okay, son, I'll be there in about uh, okay, two hours. I'll be there a couple hours. I'll load it up. So, yeah. so I told him to meet me at the, the Bradley Center, right? Is that what it is, Bradley Center? Where the concert was. Yeah, yeah. So I had to walk there. I got let out on an i bond. So I walked there, and it was like... Uh, I, you told me to pick you up at the jail. I think once you got out, you called me on somebody else's phone. Oh, yeah. That's and say, Mick, meet me at this bar. Yeah, no. So, I told yeah, you to meet me at the good. Bradley Center. Yeah. And then yeah. I got to the bar. Then I told you to meet me at the bar. Meet me at the bar. So I took off walking to yeah. the Bradley Center originally. Yeah, you right? walked. I mean, you walked from the So jail. I walked for some oh, guy right. who had a domestic with his wife. The next morning, he was walking back to his house. Good guy. Like, they were showing, yeah, it was like four, four, four of us were walking out, and they kind of showed me where to go. Talk about walk of shame. Yeah, well, it was the worst walk of shame ever. And I had no phone or nothing. So I would say, see you later, guys. And they go, okay, it's just another couple blocks this way. Just keep going. Okay, so yeah. I keep going. Well, I don't see Pappy anywhere. So I'm looking for a phone, and the only thing I could that was open was a bar that was down, down the stairs. It was a weird bar. Really? But it was it was open at 10, 10 in the morning, probably on a Sunday, yeah. and it was like packed. Beautiful Sunday morning. So I go in and I tell the story <laughs> to everybody what happened the night before, and everybody's laughing. I said, do you mind if I use your phone? Because I tell my dad yeah. where to pick me up at. Yeah. So I said, hey, Pappy, I'm yeah. actually at this bar. Meet me here. He's like, all right, be there in about 35 minutes or something. Yeah, I was tra traveling down. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> this lady of the night comes up to me and then starts chalking, saying, oh, that was a funny story. I actually had big tips because of that concert last night. Oh, really? I go, tips, well, where do you work at? She goes, uh, Big Al's. Oh, Big Al's, yeah. I said, Big Al's, it's like one of the most famous Big Al's, one of the most strip yeah. clubs ever. And uh, anyways, they say she must have bought me a beer or something, I don't know, because I didn't have anything on me. And then they're like, hey, you should come with us to the next bar. My friends would love to meet you. Yeah. And I said, well, I don't know, my dad's picking me up. Yeah. Uh, maybe you can ask him. Yeah. So, Pappy <laughs> arrives, we go up, and I hop in, and I said, uh, <laughs> I said, hey, Pappy, this is, uh, I don't know what I said. This is so-and-so. Yeah. Follow them, we're going to another And ride. she comes in and sticks her boobs like right in your face and goes, hi, Pappy, follow me. And yeah. Pappy goes, okay. <laughs> so we get in and, and they take a left and Pappy takes you right and like hits me in the back of the head. He's like, you dumb son of a, we can't follow them. We'll both end up in jail. Yeah, we'll both end up in jail, yeah. That was a smart move. That was a smart move. I said, they took a right, we took a left. I go, idiot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that you tricked them too. I have to trick them all the time. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, do. sure, yeah. sure, Tommy, we'll go this way. Uh, yeah. No. We <laughs> both, that, that's what would have happened. We both ended up in jail. Oh, we would have for sure. Yeah. Both them people. And then I went back a month later and all charges were dropped. Thank God. And then I took it to uh, Hardy's, remember, in Eureka? Yes, I do remember that. Yeah. I got I said, it. I'll feed this idiot and pass out and I'll have to listen to him all the way home. <laughs> and boy, did that work. Yep. Then I could relax. <laughs> nice little Sunday. Isn't that a nice story? Yeah. What was that, 22 or something? How old is the boy? Uh, I'm 37 now. That was in... Because uh, Joey drove me down. God, I have my memory. I have a memory left. I thought you were 21. 21. I was. I young. don't know. I wasn't. It, it was probably was. 16 years ago. Yeah, I was. I was and yeah. Well, I remember I woke up. <laughs> Another part of that story is, I woke up and there was a uh, a big black man taking a shit <laughs> right next to my head, and I had no idea where I was at. Oh, he was in uh, drunk tank. Yeah, I was time. like, oh shit, what happened last night? I knew nothing. Been there, done that. And the guys in there were telling me, man, you were crazy yeah. last night. Blah. Yeah, so, okay, yeah. yeah. And then this other guy <laughs> says, hey, I bet you could beat these guards up. And, yeah, 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 probably, huh? Yeah, you can, Swole, let's go. And he starts banging on the door, and the guards come in, they haul him out sideways. And he's going, help me, Swole, help me! <laughs> <laughs> like, no, 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 no. I realize what I've done now, and no. Now I mean, you realize what you've done. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just going to back off and try to get out of this. Yeah. Smart move, Tom. Yeah, well, when the beer wore off, then I sobered up a little bit. Oh, yeah, you know? when the beer wears off, yeah. Right. Yeah, I've done that before. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was a hell of a story, though, wasn't it? Yeah, no, it's a, it a good story, and I'll always remember that the rest of my life. Then I sure. dropped you off at Hyatt's, remember? Yeah, that's where my truck was at. Yeah. Yeah. You guys welcome there, open arms. Yeah, I had another beer for me, and yeah. started all over again. Yep. That's what Manigan says. A couple beers fix you right up. <laughs> a couple beers fix you right up. Go right to the drunk tank. I remember when Flipper got arrested, Big Hills. No, that's another thing I want to talk about. Remember when Flipper got arrested there? So Flipper is the guy from earlier in this podcast yeah. that worked with you. Uh, construction. Yes. And he is nuts. You know how I got his name? Yeah, he fucking fell off a scaffolding into a creek. No. In buildings, you have an ele elevator shaft you build first. Right. Okay. 
there was winter time as ice, and he was told to strip it, strip the wood out of it. Okay. So he got on the ice. He was stripping, and he fell through the ice, went underwater. Oh shit! We had to pull him out, and uh, we named him Flipper after that. Okay. So he looked like Flipper. He's flopping around. There. Yeah. Just trying to live. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Flipper. He's trying to live. But he went to Big Al's. One more puff, motherfucker. Yeah, they, they arrest him at the door. That was that was one of my favorite uh, stories. Yeah. I my favorite that. comments made. I mean, we went down there. We had a Christmas party for the company I worked with. Yeah. We go down there. Who is it? P-Boy? P-Boy was the guy who run it. Dave yeah. Taylor. We went down there and uh, and Flipper got in there. And, uh, so it's you and a bunch of construction workers. Yeah, and there was a girl there that, that had uh, no top on. And all these shots around her. Yes. You know, selling for like ten bucks a piece. Flipper bought everything. Flipper's gone like this. <laughs> <laughs> he took like ten shots. And then he started grabbing that girl and they run him out of there. Said, You're out, get him out of there. So we took Taylor back to our car, said, We gotta have a twelve pack, stay here, do not come back. So okay, okay. <laughs> so about an hour later, uh, I announced when we got there, I said the brothers are here. I made an announcement, the brothers are here, yes. so they knew we was there. Yeah. For a Christmas party. Yeah, all right. And the so, brothers uh, are here. So the announcer gets on there. Well, the brothers, please go to the front door. Somebody's trying to get in. It's been banned from here. <laughs> so I it's go, over. I get out there. And there's Clipper. Two cops have got him. <laughs> and he said, he said, Tommy, help me, Tommy. I want back in. Said, Clipper, get the hell out of here. <laughs> Were they trying to pull us one arm back and cigarette? Oh, hand? that's the, the best blind ever. Yeah. I know it is. He's he is smoking a cigarette and they get pulling his arm back. He said, one more puff, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, get my hat, Tommy. I don't remember get that. Get my hat. But he was arrested then. He was taken to the jail. Yeah. Then he, uh, I don't know how he got home. Because we didn't stay with him. I wasn't driving, so the driver said, screw him, we're going home. I also poor, remember where Flipper lived. So poor Flipper had to stay in jail. And Flipper lived in a farm not far from here. Yes, he did. Bastion Road. <laughs> yeah, no, it, yeah. Remember that hot tub he had? The Hillbilly Hot Tub? My brother Hot Tub. Yeah. Tommy loved it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the Hillbilly Hot Tub. You know what it was? Truck bed with a tarp. Yeah, it was worse. Worse than that. It was a garbage can full of hot water. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy loved it. I did. <laughs> yeah. We, we, Pappy, that same day, we were out on his farm. They took us to... Uh, the Hogger. Oh, the Hog House? The Hog House. Uh, the, well, it's now a strip club now, but it used yes, to be a bar. It was just and it had a dirt floor. Awesome place. Yeah. You the Hog House. You got a monster in there, Karen? Yeah. Sorry, son. What? Any colors, like purple sign. Give me a beer while you're in there, will you, Karen? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Go ahead, son. I don't know. I don't know what Karen put in this fucking Bloody Mary, but I feel like drunk again. It's bad, buddy. Remember the, that's what they call that? <laughs> oh yeah, vodka. Jesus. Did you see how big of a picture I brought out for us? What the fuck? Oh, yeah. 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 I've, I've, had, I've had most of it. I've had probably three quarters of that picture. Jesus, well, how are you not drunker now? He's I had drunker. half of his drink. I'm taking it easy, Karen. You had like half of a cup and you still have let more, almost the same amount. Never had one before. Oh God. Pappy. A lot of people talk about um, like real men are a dying breed. Yes. What do you think about that? Because there's like, what are, you did construction for 20 years. Now you're still working. You're ready, 30 you're to work. Years. Construction. 30 years. 30 years, yeah. What do you think about all the fucking pussies here? Not here. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I mean, like in general. Why, why are like these real men a dying breed? Yeah, why is If it? you're a man now, it's too, like. It's like you're, uh, you're, you're punished. Yeah, you're a bad Guys guy. like you were punished, Pappy. Yeah, yeah, man. We used to work hard every day. We loved it. Yeah. Now they got, I got buddies who do like concrete work. Yeah. They can't get anybody to do it. Everybody's 40, 50 years old. They don't want to do it. They can't get any like 20, yeah. 25 year olds to do it. And they'll make, you know, they can That's make 100 grand. Money, man. They don't want to work. And they concrete just don't. sucks, man. It's they hard don't work. That's a hard job. Oh, yeah, it is hard. I've done it. Yeah, nobody Me wants too. to work anymore. Yeah. They get these bullshit fucking communication degrees and don't do anything with them. Yeah. And then they complain when they can't get a job. Yeah. I, remember I, run, I remember running a vibrator down 20 foot walls all day. Pouring pores, you know? Yeah, yeah. Pull that light, put it down, pull it up, then go two foot over it, pull it, go down. All day long doing that. Well, how about that time you, didn't you run a jackhammer over your head for like months on end? Oh, yeah, I run a jackhammer. Like a 60 pound hammer above your head all day long? Oh, yeah, that's tough work. Yeah. I'd love running a hammer, so that was my favorite. And I'm making like you anymore, Pat. If I still could run hammers, I'd probably still be doing that. Yeah? That was really? my favorite. I loved it. Yeah. It beat you up, though. I used to run hammers all along uh, I 88. I run them all the way from the Dan Ryan all the way out to the 
You have the toll road. Yeah, yeah, I drive that. It's like driving on a jackhammer. It's really, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really, really shaky, man. Yeah, 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 build those roads. <laughs> no, we did uh, bridges, though, to reconstruct it. We had to reconstruct the bridge. Yeah, every like, bridge is terrible. Every 10 years, you got to reconstruct them because of the salt. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we'd get on there and uh, knock all the walls down. I'd love doing that. One more fucking hammer goes through this road. Yeah, sure your ass. Oh, I remember that deal. And then somebody put a hammer through the road. Yes, I, I, I won't name. I won't mention his name. Didn't he think something though was? Uh, uh, he went and got field? cigars. Uh -huh. He went and got cigars. Why did he give it cigars? Because nobody told him. Because he put his hammer through the thing. It's a buy. See, yeah, we, used a buy. To, we used to do what's called uh, partials on these bridges. They'd run chains over them to find the hollow spots. Yeah. And then they'd spray paint around them, and we would go down underneath the second rebar or something. We'd cut all that the rot rotten stuff out. But if you went too far, you go through the bridge deck. Oh. And the boss got pissed one day. He said, next motherfucker goes through this bridge, Doug. You're fired. <laughs> what are you, Vince McMahon? <laughs> fired. And uh, about an hour later, this guy went through the bridge deck. <laughs> and he left his hammer there. Just left it. So it looked like he just, you know, was just leaning there. He said, I'm going to get some cigars. Or he said, you know, he said he had to go take a crap or something. Yeah. He comes back with all these cigars. But anyway, Kenny Meyer got on his hammer. Yeah. Picked it up, there's a big hole in the deck. Said, oh shit, I put that back down. And he got back and give everybody cigars. He never did get fired. I mean, it's dangerous. I mean, there's cars going like 65 miles an hour. Right, it's a highway. Yeah. Underneath you, you know, you knock through, there's a big chunk goes down. Yeah. You go right through somebody's windshield. Yeah, when we, uh, when we string wire over the highways and stuff, we have to have it shut down. We do it like two in the morning. We'll get the yeah. state police to shut down the roads before we string in new yeah. wire and shit. Or take new wire out. Or not new wire, take old wire out and put it underground. Well, usually they would do this as a horse ship company or something. Usually you would shut down the half of the road anyway. You know? Right. You'd have Just one lane case. shut down, and you work you work over the one shut down. Yeah, yeah. But this company didn't didn't do that. You know, this. <clears throat> well, nobody got hurt, but it was dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't see people doing those jobs. At least younger. I don't see a lot of younger people doing those jobs anymore. Kind of get them out of the trades almost. Yeah, they do, don't they? It's terrible. That's the worst need, you need people. And plus, it's like to me, it's like a confidence builder too. Like, especially when I was so young, working around older people, you know, yeah. you're just building your own confidence. Oh yeah. And that translates to everything. That translates to picking up women. Oh heck yeah, you got to have your. You confidence. got all these fucking yeah. pussies now. Like yeah. when I, yeah. I, I used to do like that Tinder thing. You ever heard of that, Pappy? No. Pappy's like, only heard of Grinder. <laughs> it's like, no. uh, it's like this app where like you see girls like pictures of them, really? and you like say I like you or I don't. Oh yeah. What does it mean if you like them? You want to fuck them? Yeah, I guess. Okay. And then if they see your picture and they like you, it'll be like, hey, you can then you can like text oh, then this person. Up, huh? Then you can text them. Oh. So I got it, like on the end of that because by the time I really got like I ever tried it, I was already basically with my wife. So I didn't really do that like six months maybe. But, like all these people, they meet all these people online, and then like they have no like social skills. They can't talk to a woman. Oh no, they can't. Yeah. In like uh, a you bar know, in person in a bar. Yeah. yeah. Back in the old days, you had to. You, yeah, you had to go out there and talk to them. Like, we didn't have cell phones back in my day. How'd you hit up a girl? You'd Talk to them in the bar and maybe get their phone number. Yeah. Oh, their home phone number. Their home their phone landline. number, yeah. Their yeah. landline. There was no text phones or, you know, nothing. No iPhones. Yeah. Yeah. When, was I, was in, uh, when I was in high school, I didn't have a cell phone yet. So I had to, like, call, I had to call girls on the landline. Oh, man. And, yeah, that's tough. Um, you see my landline? Call and grab a fan answers phone? <laughs> <laughs> right. A lot of times when I call them, one. what? The landline, their dads would pick up. Oh, yeah, I know that. It's like, oh, excuse yeah. me, Mr. Richardson, can I talk to your dog? Oh, I know. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm trying to like, have a conversation with them. Yeah. You well, know? I've done that, yeah. Yeah. Now That's you terrible. just like a text, Snapchat. Yeah, now it's easy. Well, now it's easy. You don't have yeah. to fucking say anything to uh, these people. I mean, if you can't get a girl now, man, just oh, something wrong. Yeah, you're a complete loser. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, try doing that back then, right? Oh, yeah. That's why, I mean, that's why I think confidence bleeds into everything. Yeah. You know? You're sitting home all day and fucking playing on your computers instead of getting a real job. Right. You can't do anything. Go out and get a real job, man. Pour concrete all day. Yeah. Run jackhammer. I work, I work 200 foot in here. What? Doing what? Up to the power plant. Oh, yeah, that's right. I worked at them power plants. See how big them stacks are up there? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's 500 foot. Oh, man. I mean, we used to go in the bar and say, uh, I work 500 foot in here. This might be my last drink. Well, yeah, ladies, ladies of Florida. Lady would here, say, right? hey, why do you guys drink so much? I work 500 foot in the air. Yeah, you never know when this is our Never know when this is my last day. Who knows? <laughs> they, they'd eat that up. This is the reason I drink the way I do. <laughs> yeah, they'd eat that up. That's a good reason. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, you go on a bar and you have that dust all over the jack cameras, you go like, like that, dust be flying <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> yeah, right. well, speaking of dust and, and uh, pieces of the road, remember that time you had that piece of road stuck in your eyeball? Yes, I do. And you didn't want to go to the doctor, so you right. went to Dr. Grandpa Finn. Grandpa Finn, yes. And you tried to have him pull it out of your eye. Yeah, it was very painful. That and was a mistake. And he goes, hey, I think you're going to have to go to the hospital, Tom. I remember that, yeah. Did and then he have one eye? Yeah. Yeah. And then he... he uh, oh, his hammer, his, uh, what's called a chipping hammer. You know what a chipping hammer is? I was hammering and a piece of concrete flew out. I didn't have any... You're any, your mic, uh, Pappy. Sorry. <laughs> it, stuck, it stuck in my eye, a piece of concrete, like a dirt. I went home and I said, man, my eye don't feel too good. Yeah. And so I went to my dad's house, you know. He tried to pick it out. He tried to pick, you know what he tried to pick it out with? Tweezers. No, toothpick. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story. <laughs> it said still, he's Come trying, on. I can still feel him, he's pulling out of it. <laughs> I don't think he tried like 15 minutes. I don't think I can get it, Tom. Better go to the emergency room. <laughs> yeah. oh and then he had an eye patch for like two months. I went to the emergency room and they, they said, you should have come earlier. <laughs> but they pulled it out. Oh God. Then I go back to the work. I didn't go to work the next day. I got fired. Really? Yeah. Because I called in later. Said like ten after seven. So I ain't gonna be there. I got a patch on my. Oh, it's a it's a monitor, Tom. To the monitor. Right? I know. Where's it at? It's on the it's on Karen's desk. It's right there. See it? It's on her desk. Well, we'll at least go walk over there and try to find it. That's a timer. I don't think so. Ever hear Tom Finn's kid crying? <laughs> Who's crying? Karen is lucky podcast. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, what's the uh how many beers have you drink in one day? Oh beers oh, I don't know. I know what you say about counting. Yeah, I don't usually count. Well well counting's for what? Old women. Counts for pussies. Right. <laughs> okay. You always say counts for old women. Right? I thought you say counts for old women. You always say counts for old women, Pat. Counts for old women. We don't count, right? What, but yeah, what we, you, if you had to take a guess or if you ever You count. had twenty four before noon, started at eight in the morning. Twenty four yeah, yeah. before noon? Yeah, that's the record. record. Yeah, 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 I don't know. That, I started at midnight. You oh. 24 or 4 at noon. You didn't start. What, you had 12 hours? Huh? You didn't start at midnight. You got home at like 8, 7 in the morning. I did? Yeah. You worked like third <laughs> shift or something. Did you start like 7 a.m. and you were blaring like. Oh, that's right. That's right. I did. You were that's blaring right. like Conway Twitty and shit in the front yard. I was going to say, because that has two beers an hour. That's a lot yeah. less. No, that's right. We started at 7 o'clock. Yeah. That's right. So you had five hours. Or see, it was 7 or 8 because yeah. when Chuck tried to beat it, we had to start him at a certain time. Yeah, I remember that. So yeah, he didn't crazy. make it. He made it like 15. Case before noon. He had a case, case before noon, noon. in like good. four hours. Remember when Chuck did it? Yeah. He's he fucking, tried to? He was racing that girl down the street. Well, fell, he, 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 face he open. Get really hurt. He's puking everywhere. It ended up bad. Everything was good until about 10, 30, 11 o'clock, and then everything went bad. Yeah. He that's, went, that's tough to do. That's know? hard to drink that many beers in the morning. Oh. It is. A case in the morning. Well, I used to wake up and Pappy would be outside usually every Friday. Oh, sitting in the front listening to Conway Twitty. He'd have that broken down van, but the speaker still worked in it. So he'd have the speaker door open. Now we're talking. Conway Twitty, as loud as you can get it. And Pappy lives in like a neighborhood with like dentists and lawyers (laughs) and state senators. You know, he's not like out in the country somewhere. (laughs) So he's got a broken down van player. Yes. And, chugging beer. and Pappy's chugging beer at 8 in the morning on a Friday. Oh, I'd have my lawn chair sitting right by the door. You'd you know, have it know. wedged into the door. So I could hear it good. So you could hear it better, even though you could hear it, you know, from two blocks away. <laughs> that didn't wake you up, did it, son? No, that would wake me up all the time. Huh? Well, what a way to wake up, Conway. Oh, yeah, it was great Conway playing. Oh, that's awesome. Now I'm lying here <laughs> with Linda on my mind. Oh, that good. Pappy's slamming beers back. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But they used to get off at 7. Yeah, that's right. I said he started like at 8. Oh, yeah. Well, you probably started right when you got out of the building, I bet. But oh, I always had something in the van. Yeah, you had right. that beer sloshing. I had that all. I loved that. Well, yeah. I just thought of some story. That? I wanted you to the, tell me. The beer would slosh. That's a. There's a really good story too. Damn it. <sighs> yeah. Fucking Nino. forgot. Probably it. with Nino. Huh? No, no, Nino's dead. Nino, Nino, Nino. What did you say? Friend, Nino Benvenuti. Most of my friends are dead. Nino's got the clap. Hey, Pappy gave oh, it to him. Hey. Remember that? You said chant that at Maury's Blue Room. Yeah. Nino's got the clap. Hey, Pappy gave it to him. Hey. Oh, he used to always do that. Maury's got the clap. Hey. Nino gave it to him. Nino gave it to him. Maury used to love it. Uh, <laughs> Maury used to love it. <laughs> he did because he'd sell beer. I used to, Maury used to pay me to park in front of his bar on a Friday night. Yeah, Pappy was so yeah, I was popular. popular in the town we lived in yeah. that people would want to come drink beer with him. They'd see my car there. They'd think I was in there. They'd come in and at least have a beer. Yeah. Maury said, just park your, I don't give a shit, come in here, just park your car in front of the bar. 
man, you're a celebrity. Yeah, yeah I was. They wanted a yeah. celebrity. Yeah. Big time. And then yeah. he used to always lead sing-alongs or some shit. Well, lead a sing-along every Friday night at midnight. Yeah. Man, I wish you were coming to the Arnold. Yeah, yeah I, I could sing a lot of people out and have beer with you. I yeah, could, I could lead a sing along. Because we usually do, we'll do it again this year if Finn's not dead by five. Oh, do you have sing alongs and stuff? No, no, no. We do like, yeah. well, because you drink all day. Oh yeah, yeah. And without Steve as your buffer. Uh, I know it was rough. Why yeah. It's hard to make it. All oh, right, yeah. Uh, Steve's so a buffer. He's we would, good. Now he's got to drink all day. Oh, now you need another buffer. We need another buffer. Yeah. Yeah, that'd uh, be a good buffer. That'd be a good but buffer. But going out at night, we'll do like, uh, what do we call it? Drinking meat, meat and drink, meat and drink. Meat and drink. Come meet us up. So we're like, we'll go to pick out a bar and be like, hey, we're gonna be here at like seven o'clock. Yeah. And a bunch of people will show up. Yeah. You know, they just want to come hang out with us. Oh, right. Definitely. Drink a beer. Yeah. They yeah. pay for all. Like, I remember, like the first, maybe the second time we went there together, we didn't pay for anything. Oh, geez, you remember I'm that like, table at bar we're at? Wait, I had like fifty beers opened. Yeah, I was drinking with, lined like, up with friends. They didn't even know. They're like, oh, really? we're, we're, just pick up everything. I said, I'm getting four drinks right now. They're like, oh, it's fine. Yeah. I'm like, oh, I remember God, everybody bought, a, bought me a Man, beer. I had fifty good. lined up, fifty backed up in the garage. Just on yeah. the. I ended up getting kicked out. I think that's a brother. Because you, you, you didn't have sleeves. I didn't have sleeves or something. So they went, I brought like, all these people to their bar. Yeah, and we brought out. literally like like fifty people. I was so pissed. Bar. Fuck that bar. Brothers, it was called. Was it? it was hey, brothers? knock it off, the brothers. It was brothers. Come on. Yeah, well, they, well, whoever made that bar stole your name and they made it shitty. That yeah. ain't nothing to do with my brother. No, no. They wouldn't give a shit if you had a shirt on or not. Right? He'd be pantless in there if it was your bar. If it was my bar, you could be, you could be naked. I don't understand why you can't wear, well, you have to wear sleeves in places. You could be naked like in T-West. That's the thing, dude. Everybody's fucking, that's what I was like. Soft. Women are dying. It's everybody's a, soft. Yeah, it's a, a pussification of America. I mean, women wear tank tops. Why can't you have a sleeveless shirt on? Yeah, it's intimidating. Fucking, yeah, I guess. Know, everybody's a fucking pussy, though. It sucks. I went to a bar in Key West. You didn't need clothes. Remember that? I know. I've been there. I've been naked in there. I was. Yeah, you didn't now need we're clothes. Talking. Yeah, me and Pappy were both naked in there. Yeah. Yeah, the the bowl, right? I thought I thought it was uh, inside. So I went there the next day. It was outside. It was an outside. It was on a third. Yeah, it was floor. a rooftop bar. Oh, rooftop. Yeah. I went in there at night, and I didn't. I thought it was you know it was oh. dark. And <laughs> you thought there was a ceiling on it? <laughs> I went in there the next day. What the hell? It's there. No <laughs> And people are naked in there. The <laughs> yeah. Next day, at like noon. Yeah, I know. It's fucking hilarious. God. The name of the bar is the Garden of Eden. Yeah, that Key is. West, Florida. That makes sense. One of my favorite places. Well, me and Tom Finn will be nude in a bar in Columbus in two weeks. Are you serious? I'm serious, aren't you? Wow. Huck Finn man thongs. You'll be you'll be able to. Let's get stupid songs. Yeah. Yeah, we have. Pretty cool. Be manscaped and all. Yeah, manscapes. Cold your, stupid. Take your manscape with you. Right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know if I take it with me. Why? What if somebody steals it? That's a, a lot good, of weirdos good point, there, brother. Yeah. Good a lot point. of weirdos Somebody out there. would definitely steal Kelsey's. Good point, brother. Be smelling his whatever you call it, manscape. Hey, come on, son. lawnmower. Come on, son. Yeah, that's what happens. I taught you better than that, brother. A lot of weirdos. What are you talking there, about, Pappy? A lot of weird guys. <laughs> that's like my favorite part of the Arnold, though. Is like going out. Oh yeah, meeting everybody because it's kind of hard. I mean, you can talk a little bit at the Arnold, but you know, it is like you need to come, go, get out of there. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people want to come and say hi and shit. Yeah. And then yeah. you go know, later and you can drink with them. You know, like people want to come drink with them, or you meet up with yeah. people you haven't seen all year. Yeah, it's a good time. Yeah, it's fun. The Arnold is fucking nuts. It's a Super Bowl. It's our Super Bowl. It is. It's I a Super Bowl. Cannot Bowl believe how much beer. Yeah, just like anybody, anybody fitness enthusiasts, any fitness bicycle riders. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anybody. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it was, I was a rough time last year. Yeah, you were not in good condition. Oh God. Really, son? I mean, I was good during the show. Yeah. Afterwards. But then Cal's got to see the aftermath. Yeah. He. Did, I don't yeah. think he'd make it till nine o'clock. Maybe. Yeah. I was carrying him to back to his hotel room. Yeah, me and the the world's strongest dwarf. Yeah, that was the best oh, thing yeah. ever. When somebody so, yeah. said they saw me get carried by the world's strongest dwarf back to my hotel, <laughs> <laughs> asking them, "Do you know where my hotel room is?" I have no idea where it's at. Oh man, not yeah, good. it's not good. Well, I think this year what I need to do is take like a, a break. Yeah, take a break. Like five yeah. o'clock, drink till five. Well, you will yeah. have Billy Buck Roscoe there, so he could be a buffer. Sunday or Saturday. Saturday, so that's a good buffer. Oh, well, nice you need to eat. You got to eat. Son. Oh, I made it worse. Yeah, I think the worst night was like Friday. Really? Friday night was the worst. Oh yeah, that's why I carried you back. Yeah, Saturday you didn't eat, not as bad. Did you eat anything? I didn't eat nothing. You need to eat in the middle. So well, I can't. There's no time to eat. Yeah, literally. Sometimes it's you like eat. people are backed up. I mean, I had people, like, meal, on Friday you? and Saturday. I never yeah. sat down. There's people at the booth the whole time. Sunday, there, you had it was less crowded. It's tough being a celebrity. You know, it's tough being a yeah, drunk I celebrity. See, yeah. You got to drink beer all day. Yeah, that's what Karen said. Yeah, you got to oh, drink you get paid all to day. drink beer. It's real tough. That's tough. I'm like, well, yeah, I got to do it for three days, Karen. Like, I mean, not just do it. Like, like some people, I could have like 10, 15 beers, three days. Well, that's no problem. Try having 40 to 50 beers every day for three days. That's tough. Now, that is tough. Karen will be driving home. The next day, oh, shit. 
I don't want to see a beer the next day because you feel like shit. But once you get one oh, in you, come on, never say that, son. Once you get one in you, though, it's the opposite. You're like, okay, let's go again. Oh, you want that beer? I know, but it's hard to drink that first one down when you're so fucked up. No, yeah. man, I've never had that problem ever. Well, Pat, you're a professional. I've never had that drinking problem. Drinking beer for like fucking fifty-seven years. Yeah, fifty years. Yeah. So. Yeah. What? Well, uh, I want to talk about when you introduce. <laughs> this is a weightlifting. I mean, what? I mean, we're originally people listen to this because we talk about working out. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, sometimes. I think people just like the banner. Well, that too, but, I mean, you started me in the bench press. Oh, Like, that's what I'm known for. Yeah, how did that start? Yeah. I brought a, a bench right in the living room. Yeah, you moved the table out of the yeah. living room and replaced yeah. it with a weight bench. Yeah, that's a true story. Weights. Yeah, we're going to lift weights. Yep. Get your ass on that bench and lift. Yeah, I come up for football practice like three yeah. days a week, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I like bench press. In the seventh living room. grade, right? Eighth grade. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. And yeah. then uh, Pepe would be drinking pass through ribbon, have dust all over him, mm -hmm. and he'd be yelling at me and shit, and give me lift offs. Yeah, I think I was benching at, uh, 50 plus, like 100 pounds. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Eighth grade, I remember yeah. starting out there. Yeah, and remember I used to bench too in there. Yeah, yeah, we'd all bench. We'd right? fucking we were eating off it and shit, and everything else. There were pictures of Joey and me eating off the bench yeah, like we used dinner. to have shish kebabs on. Yeah, you put shish kebabs. Yeah, no, that's a great picture. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. And then. Yeah. It, then freshman year, I went to the, the school, high school. Yeah. And started and really trained a lot more there. Remember when you broke in the weight room? Oh yeah, we should bring. Remember, always would let you in there. Remember, that's stupid. We'd always want to work out, but the coaches would never be there. They wouldn't let you in. There. So I'd have to break in every time. He'd break in. Yeah. So I'd always be in there training constantly. Why wouldn't they want you weightlifting? They did, but they didn't want to show up, Pappy. I mean, that's the key, man. The key to any football Especially team. Especially football, you got weights. You got to weightlift. I mean, Right. Yeah, every good school had a good weightlifting program. That's Hell because yeah. that's what made the athlete was the that's weight program. Damn right it does. On uh, the off season, so mm -hmm. I benched. I remember. I still remember my numbers. I benched two thirty five as a freshman. Yeah. Because they had a liftathon every year at the school, so the whole that. school would yeah. be there and watch you. They put the bench right in the center court. Oh, that was good. And as a Pappy, you never showed up to any of it. I, I was spray drinking. Yeah, man. you, you I mean, never showed up to one of them. Every don't expect me to go. Everybody's to that parents were there. Like everybody's, everybody was there. Pappy you know? knew what you could bench. Yeah. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, Pappy did. I don't need to see it. No, no. And in, 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 uh, <laughs> as a sophomore, I won like the whole thing. I benched three fifteen or something, and it like tied the senior and me and this other guy tied for first. And I was like, I don't know. I, I bought this giant trophy home. Yeah. Yeah, Pappy didn't care about. I that. put it on the mantle. Put it on the mantle. He yeah. did. And then my junior year. I fucking benched like 405 or something out there. Like, it was insane. Yeah, I remember that, yeah. Like, that's when yeah. it just took off after that. Yeah. And uh, they wouldn't let me bench there my senior year. They so wouldn't let you bench senior, I remember that. Because so, they wanted me to pay money because I never raised any money. It was a lift of thigh. It was for, like, yeah, true, yeah. It was for the that. school. It wasn't for... I said, fuck you, I ain't paying you 60 bucks. I said, I'll take that $60 to go to fucking Ernie Franz and compete in the fucking Illinois State meet. And you did do that. And I did, and I won that. Yeah. So, and that's... Kind of how it started. Everything started. Yeah, that's how you did it. Yeah. Yeah. Happy yeah, yeah. was there for that. Who signed you up for that? You did. Yeah. It's similar because my dad, when I was <clears throat> 12, 13, what's that? Seventh, eighth grade? Yeah. He'd say every. Uh, um, Is that your dad? <laughs> yeah. Every. <laughs> I need, he's like, I need you to work out three times a week if you're going to be home. You know, if you're not working as much or whatever. So every day, every, every basically every other day, you go to the basement yeah. and you lift. Had a bunch yeah. of stuff set up down there. So right. we, just all we do is bench. Squat. Yeah. We wouldn't really deadlift. Do no. some back and stuff, and then we would chop wood. Yeah. And that was it. Well, that was my good. foundation. You know, yeah, it always starts at home, man. That's where it starts. It's from your dad. Yeah. You know, that's how. Well, it's a good foundation, you right. know. You got to take a leak or something, Pat? Yeah. Well, just tell Tom to cut your mic off. Tom, would you cut my mic off? <laughs> yeah. Pat, he's got five beers deep, and he hasn't taken a leak yet. You got to go inside this time, baby. Why? Because the garage door's not open. Ah, shit. You gotta go use a regular. Well, you can go out the back door there if you want. Oh, the back door. Oh, shit. I can't, I can't see. Pappy, just open the garage door. Ain't no big deal. I can't see nothing. Open that garage door. Yeah, that'd be good for the audience. Pappy, the garage door is now going up. Uh, Pappy is refusing to urinate in the house. He's going outside by my truck to pee. Jesus Christ. What do you think, Callis? Maybe he's got a lot of stories. A lot of people I never heard of. Yeah, <laughs> the brothers. I know. Name dropping all these people no one's ever heard of. Oh, they're all dead. Yeah. Uh, his name is Flipper. This guy's name is uh, Tom Sawyer or whatever it was. Mickey Mantle. Oh, man, that's hilarious. Mm. 
I don't feel that good, man. Yeah, you look like shit. Jesus Christ. We drank a lot of beer last night. Now I'm drinking vodka again. And I feel drunk again. Well, it's better than hungover, right? It's kind of a mixture of like feeling hungover and drunk at the same time right now. Yeah. Like I don't know. I'm like kind of weak, like shaky. Oh boy. And every time I wake up now, drunk, and hungover, yeah. I think about the Arnold. I'm like, oh shit, man. I'm not gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Like this is gonna be this hangover yeah. is gonna be worse every day. We than gotta, what it is we now. gotta condition you. You got two weeks to train. Well, that's what I've been doing, man. I've been drinking quite a bit last month. That's good. That's a lot more than I drank in the last year, probably. That's good, Tony. You know. You gotta get ready. I, well, I am coming out with this pre-workout. Yeah. I don't know if I ever announced it on this podcast. Uh, maybe. Go follow HFB Supplements for like up-to-date stuff. I haven't announced it on my main page yet. Right. But I'm in contact with these guys. I need some kind of hangover remedy. You know, Ooh, something right. like I love Pedialyte, but I want something like Pedialyte on steroids. Yeah. Plus, Pedialyte's like eight dollars a bottle. Exactly. Yeah, it's fine. It's it is. So if I can make something similar to Pedialyte but better. Yeah. I, I mean, that's what I want. Close that back up, would you, Pappy? Oh, it's one up. <laughs> the garage, you moron. You did shit out there, did you? Yeah. Jesus Christ, you can't be pitching loafs in my yard, Pappy. I'll wash it. I play croquet out there. I'll wash it off. Ah. Well, somebody puked in her. Nice one, man. man. Somebody? <laughs> Karen. I haven't puked in a long time. I don't know. I mean, that's I mean, probably a couple years ago was the last time I puked. Been that long? I would say. Get that mic lined up again. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, first first yeah, there oh. you go. I remember one time he puked a nacho sauce up at my house. That was probably the last time I puked. I remember that. That was yeah. the last time I puked, like two years ago. I remember that. Where was it, two, two, three years ago? I got up and he started to burp. Yeah, it was like... Wasn't it like in a recliner, right? Yeah, it's in a recliner, yeah. And Pappy was up, you know, looking at his Facebook page or some oh, yeah, shit. I was up, you know, I Cup like of coffee, early. six in the morning. Right early. And I started coughing or burping or something. Yeah, I was right there. I caught it. So what happened? I don't know. He started erupting. This stuff started coming out <laughs> like a volcano, man. Like this cheese sauce. <laughs> blah, blah. Yeah, I just kept puking up and it just yeah. flowed out. It wasn't like projectile or anything. No, it was like, flowing. I ate a whole thing of nacho. Or I got a towel on you immediately. Doritos and cheese yeah. dip and it yeah, puked it up. It, was. it just no, flew, no. like kind of flew out of my, like, erupted out of my mouth. It wasn't, and just it was all in front of me. No, it was an eruption. Yeah. I saw it, man. It was... Pat, what are you doing to that microphone? Luckily, I am a professional <laughs> janitor, so. Yeah, yeah, you clean that shit right up, man. No big deal. I've seen it all the time. Man. Yeah, we needed it that day, too. <laughs> Big time. No problem no there, buddy. Deal. I got it right cleaned up. Yeah, okay. Oh Nobody knew the difference when they got up. No, you got like a new shirt on, everything. Passed right your, back out. I got your new shirt, yeah. sprayed you down, boom, boom, yeah. boom. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was like a fucking pit crew. Oh. <laughs> good good analogy, yeah. brother. Yes. It's like Bro a pit crew. It's brother pit crew. The one man pit crew. Brother pit crew. When did you shit your pants? Why do you say that? Son? I just heard you shit your pants live on air, Pappy. <laughs> <laughs> do what you gotta do, brother. <laughs> Oh, God. I can't care what people that. think, bro. Well, there's guys that want to know from my football team. I don't know how many of them listen to this, but I, I, I know. <laughs> Which football team? So? The, not the McMurray, the Sycamore one. Oh, Sycamore Spartan. They want to know if you uh, still have that Catsmore jersey. Oh, hell yes. Yeah, that was, I would never get rid of that. always wear that. I wonder what ever happened to that guy. Andy Katzemeyer. He was like a linebacker for my Ohio State. Ohio State University. I Number 45. Yeah. I remember he had his jersey. He used to wear it all the time. The sleeves are cut off. Uh, I loved it. So Pappy would come to my football games. Uh, he would never out. sit with like in the stands, oh, you know, yeah, with the oh, other oh, families. Stand. Pappy would be standing against the light, the light or something, drinking beer. Yeah. Uh, didn't matter. Pouring down rain. Oh, yeah. He'd still be in the Andy Katzemeyer jersey, sleeveless. <laughs> pouring down rain, no coat on. No, nothing. Yeah. Always have a sleeveless football jersey on no matter what yeah. the temperature was. Oh, yeah. That was my thing. Man. Yeah, I know. The people loved it. I know. They always loved where where's old man Finn at? They'd find you. He ain't hard corners to live hard for. Yeah, Damn right. The Pappy would have a big beard and shit, you know? Big beard. Yeah. It was black back then. Yeah. Now it's turned gray. Now it's turned gray. Well, I'm older now, son. You are? Yeah. You got nice glasses, huh? Thank you. Those pit vipers. Oh, I love them. <laughs> You're never getting them back. I know. You said you can't see out of them. I can't see, but I'm wearing them home. <laughs> You're going to roll that car. <laughs> <laughs> like fucking so your buddy. Nino Benvenuti. Oh, Nino, yeah. Oh, Coca-Cola Cowboy. Coca-Cola Cowboy in the house? Never forget that. <laughs> when he did that in the parking lot. Yeah, that's a good story, Pat. There was oil all over it, gravel and shit all over it. What the hell happened, Al? What is... Oh, I had a little problem. What, what is your best story? Like, 
My best story? Yeah. No, I don't. What's your know. best drunk story that oh, you haven't told yet? I don't know, son. That's that's a big thing to ask me at this point. <sighs> I mean, yeah, I know. Fifty years of drinking, you gotta have. I mean, I got fifty years of drinking. I mean, I'm trying to think. Of, how about that time that girl slapped you in the face? Where's that at, son? Uh, didn't she step on you or something? No, I don't remember that. You said you got a trucker in hell one night and you're at a restaurant and some girl hit you with her high heel? Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I don't remember it. Don't Kingsway? Know. No, I don't remember what happened. I remember restaurant? I got kicked in the face with high heels. <laughs> got that shit beat out of me. I remember that. <laughs> and I got arrested. Yeah, I remember that story. Yeah. How old were you then? Like 22 or something? Probably pretty young, yeah. I was coming home. Actually, no, uh, 64. <laughs> I was coming home from the, uh, when I taught at Ludlow. Oh, okay, yes. That's what happened. I was coming home from Ludlow. Remember I, the story earlier? Yeah, when you taught school. And then I went back to school and I had a huge black eye. And I was all red. <laughs> and the kids, I'm like, what the hell happened to you? I said, this this people is a lesson. Never play football without a helmet on. <laughs> I played a pack of football game with no helmet on. this be a lesson to you, yeah. kids. I mean, my eyeball was completely red. Oh, you know? God, yeah. Broke the blood vessels. That's oh, horrible. I was all scarred up. I bled horribly. Well, and then that time you came you came with uh, Uncle Nino and Pat Minigan. Pat Minigan is a, I don't know how you say it, that's special a, needs. A He's a special needs. Yeah, yeah. he. Yeah. Kind of like Tommy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he and then three came to my first college football game. Oh, remember that? And I'll never forget it. They were drunker than hell. And Tommy. Minigan he had a whole bottle of whiskey or something, didn't he? Oh, God, yeah. And he had a, a Mac Staff shirt on. Yeah, he bought a Mac so Staff shirt. So my co- the college was Mac Murray College, so he had a, like the official <laughs> Staff shirt that, the, that yeah. the coaches wear. Oh, yeah, he's right in that sideline. He's right in the sidelines. He's yeah, hammer Minigan. drunk. Oh, drunk or hell. And he'd, uh, he's trying to dance with his cheerleaders. Oh, my God. Uh, and everybody thought that was my dad. You told him I was your dad. Or I told him it was my dad. Yeah. Because no, everybody wanted to meet my dad. They said, my dad's... Fuck, Stad's coming. We gotta see what this guy. Yeah, he's so I man. pointed it out. It was Minigan. It was the mentally challenged oh, drunk guy, <laughs> and they fucking loved it. You know. Oh man, what a day and that they, was, huh? Well, a better day was when you guys came for parents' night. Do we come? <laughs> yeah, you guys were there, you idiot. You and the old lady showed up. The yeah. McMurray College, like parents' weekend or something. Oh, so you I guys came, yeah, yeah. You guys came to the football oh, game. Parents' weekend. He said parents' night or whatever it was. Yeah. It, it's so you guys come to the football game and then yeah. stayed. Yeah. Came back to my, my dorm. So, Pappy is awesome at making, like, anything, like, on the grill, right? Oh, yeah. I You're made, a grill master. Well, I made uh, chicken wings. So, you made, like, a 500 chicken wings. Every person on that football team was pretty much in that room eating chicken. Yeah. I remember yeah. that, yeah. Uh, yeah never and, forget it. Um, I can remember that like it was yesterday. You guys, Pappy was dressed up with his Katamari jersey with the sleeves cut off. <laughs> and my good friend at college... Uh, Code man, yeah. Uh, Cody, he, Dustin Cody, he's from Florida, so his parents flew up from Florida. Yeah, they're dressed up to the nine, oh, like suits, the nine. yeah, nice dress. He knocks on the door, and there's like seriously fifty people in my dorm room. Well, the mother was there too. The right? old lady's there, drunker than hell. Yeah, the mother was there. Um, we answer the door, and it's fucking hillbilly music's blaring. He's like, Finn, I just wanted to interview Meet you. Your parents. my parents. <laughs> He's like, I'm like, hey, how you doing? I'm drunk too, you know, and shaking her hands. I said, oh, I want to introduce you to my parents, Pappy. <laughs> and Pappy stands up, chugs a beer or something. He's got the sleepless <laughs> shirt on. How you doing? And then my mom's falling down the stairs. Oh, that was a oh, fun God. day. And then they got out of it real fast, you know. Yeah, they didn't know. like us. No, anymore. I don't think they liked you either. No. But then yeah, shortly, them. shortly after that, the old lady fell down the stairs, and one of my buddies that played football with me is like, Finn. Your mom just took a header down the stairs. Oh, and Pappy goes, well, son, looks like we got to get going. <laughs> and then they got the hell out of there. We're out of here. <laughs> We're out of here. Yeah. Well, she's playing, like, fucking drinking games with them and everything else. Oh, that was, we had a good time. Oh, you guys had a great time. It, it was, was awesome. a great parents' day. And then the next time you were there, I was leaving school. <laughs> yeah, I remember I picked you up. We're getting out of here. Get your shit. We're out of here. Yeah, it was, uh, it was that right at that semester. Or the, we just... what is it, the halfway point or whatever you call that. What do you call that? I left because I was going to go to a bigger school. So I went into Kish, going to go to NIU. Oh, yeah. To, oh, you uh, did get into NIU. Yeah, you were remember, talking about you remember, the janitor. Remember I told Brad Benson's dad that? I officially got accepted because they had been waiting. <laughs> yeah. it, was like, it, it was like a two-year time period because my grades weren't good enough. Yeah. I'm so your ACT yeah. score goes away after uh, one year of college. Yeah. So you score off what your, what your grade point average was. Right. When I left Mac Murray, somehow I, I managed to have a 2.6 because they did all my homework. Are you Beautiful. serious? That was the best grade point I've ever had. Wow. And then, that must have been a mistake. It had to have been. And then I get to Kish and my grades went way down and they couldn't transfer me in. I remember the phone call was yesterday. 
And that was it? Well, you did make it to NIU. Well, I did, but not to the football team. Yeah, remember you told the guy? I, a custodian. I, I so, finally got into NIU. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it was Benson's yeah. dad, so yeah. my buddy Brad, who played yeah. for NIU. Yeah. And I, and I got told in. him, and he thought I was for real. Yeah, thought she was on the football team. <laughs> it's like, oh, geez, thank God, man. But it wasn't for the football well, team. Well, then he said, uh, it was Bill and Services. Benson's yeah. <laughs> I'm a janitor at yeah. NIU. Yeah. <laughs> well, the best part. Love it. <laughs> what did what, you, you say about that guy? That guy's. Oh, that was the best part. Remember when the Lippy and Mackie was there? Yeah. He was bragging about their kids. Their, yeah, their kids consuming cum laude or something. Yeah, shit. my kids consume a lot. Uh, my other kid got a, a, into Harvard. Yeah. And says, time for me to do a little bit of bragging here. Yeah, these my are friend. his college friends coming over. Time for me to do a little bit of bragging. My son just got accepted <laughs> into the uh, into the janitor program. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was the best thing ever. Oh, that's awesome, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> my kid just consumed yeah. cum laude. Oh, I love it. Princeton or something. Said, hey, hey, time for me to do a little bit of bragging. <laughs> my son just got into, into the janitor program. Are you? Yeah, that's fucking hilarious. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a good story. That's good stuff, Tommy. You can't make that shit up, brother. Oh, no, no. you can't. That's a true story. No. Oh, oh yes. Oh, that's awesome, wasn't it? And then you got married in your apartment, right? Like Kels. Yeah, so you and Kels got too. married huh? somewhere. Yeah, I got married in my apartment. Yeah. I got married in my living room. I got. That's what I did. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Are you sure yeah. that's not your dad? I don't know. I don't know. He looks a lot like you. Son, how's it going? Yeah. <laughs> you guys, he's got a beard. You gotta look a little bit alike. Yeah, we do, don't we? Yeah, same shirt on, basically. Yeah, I'll good purple sweatshirts. Might be true. Look at pit micro glasses. Where's my regular glasses? Uh, we broke those back. Oh, shit, I'll never be able to get home. <laughs> You're gonna be staying in the shed for now on, <laughs> right? Oh shit! You betcha. Oh god. Well, I got a story I wanted you to tell. Oh, man, that was a good one too. Yeah, I know it was. It was. And uh, I had to go turn that monitor off and I forgot it. Ah, shit, I wonder what it was. I got a lot of stories. Well, well, episode 20. Yeah, episode 20. Yeah, we'll be back in episode 20. I'll be back 20. in 10 weeks, right? Yeah, maybe sooner. Maybe sooner, depending. Maybe sooner. If we do a bunch of podcasts the Arnold, we'll yeah. do it sooner. Maybe sooner, you never know. If we drop some midweek. Yeah. You don't never know, Tommy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah light myself on fire. I'm always a... Yeah, remember that? Yeah. <laughs> What do you need a handler for? What do you do? Light yourself on fire? Yeah, yeah, yeah. light myself on fire. Yeah, it's Tommy. Yeah, I know. That's why I need a handler, brother. That's Tommy. You got a handler, don't you? Who's that? Karen. Oh, she did too good of a job last night. She's your drunk handler. Yeah, she's, she's also drunk. Handler. Yeah, she was just as drunk as I was. Right, Tommy? Except she didn't puke in the backyard. Yeah. She didn't. She managed to find the bed. Who's coming by our house at this time? I don't like that, son. Nah. Should I get him out of here. Get him out of here, pappy. <laughs> Go we'll take care of him, Dan Bell style. <coughs> yes. Where is uh, the one guy at? Who's that? Your neighbor. Huh? The neighbor that li- used to live over there. Josh. The, the neighbor's Josh waving at me right now going by. Uh, where's Josh at? Josh, you? He used to live over there. <coughs> oh, you talking about the, the, the guy, the drunk guy? Yeah, the guy. Buddy? Oh, I love Josh. Man. Oh, yeah. No, he's he doesn't live there. He's coming up on St. Paddy's Day. You said he's coming over. Yeah. He listens to this podcast. So he, now he knows your address. Yeah, oh. <laughs> 385 Parkside. I ain't going to be there. I'm going to be in Ireland this year. Yeah, well, that was if you're getting that money. Now you're not. Hey, knock it off, Tommy. Pappy <laughs> 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 had these big plans all gone. Pappy was going to have an uh, Ireland home, he said. All gone. They don't want to talk about it. Yeah, he's like Al Bundy. You know what I mean? Don't talk Al about Bundy, it. he gets like, remember the one time he, he got a uh, bunch of something? Or, oh, yeah. And then all of a sudden it's all gone. Yeah, that's the way my life is. You, you remind me a lot of Al Bundy. Well, I my I, I take my life after him. Remember, we used to watch that all the oh, time. Oh, we watch it religiously. I remember. Yeah, that's a good show. Yeah. Yeah. I used to watch that a little bit. Yeah. Child. Remember Sunday night? No, yeah. Still, you can still watch it. My God, I was like nine years old when it came out. You remember, were never born. Remember Sunday night at Herman's Head? Yeah, Herman's, Herman's Head was the best. Oh, Herman's oh Chris Head. Elliott's in a new show too, Pam. Chris Elliott, remember? You that? know that guy, Chris Elliott's in a new in a show. Oh, yeah. He's a mayor of this town called Schmidt's Schitt's Creek. Really? It's on Netflix. Schitt's Creek. He's the mayor. He's fucking hilarious. I'll have to watch it. Yeah. I haven't seen him since uh, Herman's Head. No, you saw him in... Or, uh, uh, Everybody Loves Raymond. No, Cabin Boy. No, but he's in Everybody Loves Raymond, too. Oh. That was a good show. Cabin Boy. Oh, I love Cabin Boy. That's one of my favorite movies. Like what, is your, what is your favorite movie? <clears throat> my favorite movie is probably is Revenge of the Nerds. Yeah. I that love That's sense. one of my favorites. That makes sense. That's your favorite movie? Well, I remember being, going to Elmer's. It kind of reminds me of Elmer's. What, yeah, I mean, so, we had a lot of nerds there. Well, I bet it's... Uh, Private school. Yeah, there's very smart people there. Yeah. And then Pappy. we had the jocks there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Pappy. What's your favorite food? 
My favorite food? Yeah. Pizza. Pizza. Yeah. Favorite beer? Uh, Miller Lite. You like that better than Paps? Oh, yeah. I used to love Miller Lite. Favorite, hard, you, favorite, favorite hard alcohol? Uh, Tito's. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There yeah. we go. Yeah. Yeah. What's nine times eight? 20. <laughs> 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 These are some questions I ask when I when I interview people. I can tell you a story at Elmhurst. Okay, go ahead. Football. You got, one you more got time for that or not? Yeah, one more story. Yeah, okay. Remember, I went we to Elmhurst. Up. I went to Elmhurst College. Yes. And I didn't know nobody. Right. I was nobody knew me. I'm on the football team. Yeah. Okay. The first. Oh, I know that feeling. I did the same thing. Yeah. Nobody knew me. Okay. The first day of contact. Yeah. Uh, I was an offensive guard. That's right. what I was recruited as. Yeah. First day of contact, they hit me in this pulling drill. You know, I pull. Yeah, pulling drill. And the guy comes free. Yep. I mean, I come down, I lit this guy up like you wouldn't believe. Oh. Knocked him, I flat backed him. Yeah. Went flying. Right. And uh, ever since that, everybody knew me then, you know? That's a very similar story that I have. I told yeah. you that story. Then everybody knows you. Right, immediately. No matter what you do after that, I mean, you I'm made like, that first impression. I'm like the big man on campus saying, hey, Huck, yeah. how you doing? They call me Huck. Oh, yeah. Huck, how you doing? Huck, nice job, man. Yeah. And Who was that guy? Everybody knows. Was it right? El Mackey? Oh, no, it wasn't El Mackey. Oh. No. no. Well, so, what I forget the guy who was, but he come across and I lit his ass up like you wouldn't believe. I flat backed his ass. I did the same thing. I was just got to Mac Murray. Nobody knew who the hell I was. Yeah. And I was playing on the offense. Uh, I was playing fullback. And yeah. it was a scout team. Cause I just, we just started first day of pads. So they had yeah. a starting defense out there, and I'm on the scout team offense. Yeah. And I come around the corner, lead blocking. Yeah. And their big stud, like the best player on their team, was a middle stud, linebacker. This right. guy from Florida, yeah. and I decleated the motherfucker right in front of Coach Fry. I mean, decleated him, like lit his ass up. Yeah. You know, just like you said, same right. thing, same right in front of right? the head coach's feet. Yeah. And everybody just fucking went nuts. I mean, yeah, everybody, and everybody knew he nuts, ever right? since then. They're like, yeah. holy and shit, they love you. don't mess with yeah. that guy, you know. Yeah. But that's how that was the first well, day. You know what happened in the afternoon practice? Then oh. I was offense on that first practice. They put you in defense. Come back and said, you're defense now. Move me off the offense. And then you played with defensive tackle, right? I played or defensive uh, end. I played defensive end or defensive yeah. I played them all, nose guard, everything. Yeah. But they moved me that. Boom, get that guy on defense. Now. 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 All right, well, we got to wrap.